Uh, why, why can I? Why can I not send a tweet right now? We're sorry, we cannot send a tweet right now. Would you like to retry? Yeah, retry it. We're sorry, you, you can't do that right now. What happened? Why does everybody? I swear to God, I'm made out of static electricity. You know how people are like, we're seventy percent water. Uh-uh, not me. Nope, I am seventy percent static electricity. 8% water, 2% blood, and 20% piss. Somebody said that's not possible. Yes, it is. Yeah. You can be 70% electricity. But I, I, ask that to Electro. You know, the Spider-Man villain? What is it? Is that... Does he think he's 70% water? What about the... What about, uh... What about the human flame? Right? Do you think the Human Torch? Is he 70% water? Nope. That guy's- that guy's 90% fire. 10% human. Uh, I- I've, I've been having blue screen problems with my computer. I've blue screened like, probably eight or nine times now, today. So this is great. Anyways, here we go. Uh, we're gonna be playing some brain games. This is THE brain game. This is the- we're gonna start with this one. I got like 20 or 30 different brain games to play. Okay. So recreate pattern. Click on the grid to, re to create the same pattern as the example. I'm gonna test our intelligence here. We've got, uh, what did it, what did you want? That was really easy. Alright. <laughs> I may have uh, overestimated some of these brain games. No, no, hold on, it's getting harder. That was just a test. I just wish it wasn't candy and donuts. I do have an IQ test. It is, it is, I have one ready to go. Not bad. That's what that, I would say that's a, that's a ninth grade level right there. Okay. That was like 11th grade. That, we, we passed the 12th grade one. I, I, I fell asleep in class that time. Reddit, come on, this is like, uh, uh, what? Sorry, I can't match, like, the ice cream cones. <laughs> Big brain. Also, I, I'm not a... What, what the hell is that? What, 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 what is it? Oh, it's, the timer is counting down. Alright, we go, got it. I got a 60. Low to high. Click on the numbers from low to high in the correct order. Wait, what? what? Does it want me to do? Okay, I guess. One, four, six, eight. We got zero, three, six, seven. You see how fast that was? <laughs> I clicked. I tried to click it. Don't get mad. This. Don't get. Don't fucking unhinge yourself right now. This is made for eight-year-olds. Don't unhinge. You tried to click it and it didn't work. And plus, that doesn't help that the mouse is just painstakingly disappearing every 10 seconds. And look, I can't even see what the fuck I'm doing. Oh my god. It, you wouldn't believe how laggy this is. I'm trying to fucking do it. No, no, I'm like already fucking pissed. I got like a broken computer. And I'm sitting here clicking on like 8th grade puzzles. What the fuck am I doing? Is the current image the same as the previous image? Okay, let's find out. Alright, there's an octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hands on an octopus. That is the same image. Not a match. What? I'm so confused right now. I- hold on, it wants- I get it. This is just- this is just so odd. Is this the same picture as the last one? Like, okay. No, it's not. I don't understand. And does this, does this make me a brain billionaire? I don't get it. I kinda like don't want to do this anymore. 
<laughs> this is like just making this is just making me like tired. Choose the heaviest item. It's fucking watermelon. What is it? Was it cheese? Uh, yeah, I, that, that, what are you even trying to tell me here? It's apples. Uh, the telephone is heavier than a. a but that, but you're fucking up. You're doing real world. You're putting real world items in here, and it's messing me up. That's the point. And so it, it, it's just supposed to be real world. All right. Well, the telephone's heavier than cheese. What? Are you. I don't even care. This, well, this, we're starting the stream just joking around with a dumb dickhead online test. What do I dog call a match? What is this? This is not like a fucking actual test. This is just somebody made like a jokey game in their spare time. How long is my what, what, what did I decide I wanted to do this today? What, what, are, the, what, are, the, what are the guy? What are the, and clerks? What the clerks? What does clerk say? I'm not even supposed to be at work today, right? It's a miracle my computer is still on. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty good at the dog collars, don't you think? Create the correct equation from left to right by clicking on the signs. Oh, uh, come on, don't do this to me. 5 plus 6 equals 30. It's the times... 6 times 5, 6 minus... 6 plus 11 is, uh... 6, 5, 7, 9 plus minus 2 equals 7. Oh, thank god, this is at, at like a literal third grade level. Uh, 5 plus, uh, 5 minus 8, 5 times 8, minus 8 equals 4, 5 minus, times, plus, <laughs> 35 minus, uh, 5 plus 8 equals, uh, 35 minus, uh, 35 divided by 5, uh, times 8 equals plus 15, 36 minus 4, uh, times 1 equals 8, 18 uh, divided by 3, and then uh, times 1 equals 5. <laughs> 5 minus 20 <laughs> times 4. <laughs> this is hurting my brain. This is, I'm just fucking kidding around. <laughs> It's a joke! Alright, don't worry, we got another one here. This one's an actual, this is this is a unique IQ test, it's called Flash Your Brain. What the fuck does this say? Please disable your ad block. The game will load faster without an ad block. That is such a lie. Huh? You tell me that if I didn't have an ad blocker on, the game would load faster? I don't, even, I don't even have an ad blocker. I don't have an ad blocker. Lies, I swear to god! I have, I have like, okay, I have Kaspersky protection which is enabled. Look! I can prove it. I just don't want you to see the rest of the games we have to play tonight. Look, I can prove it. Look, I can prove it in real time here. See? Right there! That's not ad block. That's Kaspersky's like internet protection. Let me let me give you a mo let me give me give me a second right so everyone saw the the how smart are you test right I could have write I could have uh, written something like brain games or IQ test or online testing online uh, quiz no when when like when like when like a fourteen year old goes to search for this they type in how smart are you test it's the easiest way to get the keywords how smart are me you test it's the, it's keywords. We're talking about search engine optimization here, okay? Anyways, let's go. Test. Uh, what image continues the following sequence? Be 21. Uh, what image continues? There's another sequence, okay? And then it's minus, and it's plus two, and then minus one, so plus two would be three, four, five, and it's going to be this one over here. Okay, one, two, two, quick one, one, two, two, one, two. And flip it sideways, and they flip it around, and flip it back. I think it's going to be. Two, one, two, four, two, one, two. It's gonna be four, two. Uh, one, two, three, four. You get up, uh, okay. One, two, three, four. You got that in a cube. You put three is currently in the blue, then the four, and then the two, and then the two goes around four. Patterns here, so that's uh, it's uh, 
Bumblebee, Bumblebee. Uh, no, no, I don't think we're going to go back to Bumblebee here. I think it is. Complete the pyramid. You got it. Okay. Green, black, green, black, right, green, black, right, green, black, 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 green, green, black, black. Yeah. Complete the pyramid. Is it the Triforce of Wisdom, the Triforce of Courage, or the Triforce of Strength? It is definitely this one. Complete the pyramid. Uh, we got the... It's all about patterns and recognizing them. Pulls it out of the circle. Which means it would have to be... It wouldn't be this one. It would have to be this one. We got the paint set here. It spins the colors to... It seems to be sideways. Yellow's a little... So it's going to be one of these two. That's part of the pattern there. Now what about white? It's going to be this one right here, the second one. And the next four tasks, you'll be required to remember a situation in 60 seconds and answer the question also in 60 seconds. You got it. But what is it? Sh quiet. Multiples of 11. Oh, why am I reading chat? What are you doing? I can't do this with you guys here. Like, I've, I've got to sit down in a quiet room. Shh. I already lost it. What? All right, we get, we get, we get extra computer time. It hurt me. It knows. I will get this right. Don't you worry about that. I think I'll get it. Right, we can skip that now. What image was on the previous scheme? Okay, let me think about this. Okay, I think I got that one correct. This is another memory test. I should be... I, I'm actually really good with these. Um, for those of you that are curious, I, uh, I actually was IQ tested before. And uh, it was enough for me to be able to, like, completely understand patterns and recognize um, how they function. So... I don't even need to look at this anymore, I don't think. What was on the previous stream? Um, well, if I just pull out deduction here. I think it was this one. Another memory test. This one should be very... I don't... You know what? I don't even need to look at it for more than a few seconds. <coughs> okay. Sorry, I just had a cough there for a sec. Uh, it, was, it was this one here. What, what, what image was absent? Hmm, which one was the one? I'm not sure which one was in here. Pretty sure this light blue one was not there. No, it wasn't. Memory test. We have quite a few of these. <coughs> it doesn't even... What image was on the previous scheme? Find appropriate part to complete the square. See, I'm all right with this one. So it's gonna spin around. It's gonna, it's gonna have three staircases. <laughs> Why am I reading chat? It's the, it, no, it's this one. Find appropriate part to complete the circle. <laughs> No, <laughs> you got it wrong. Oh, wait, wait. I, let me just let me just like spin my monitor around. Uh, it's not this one. It's this one. It's this one. Find appropriate part to complete the square. We need blue on the tip and yellow here. So that's fine. It's not this one. It's either this one or this one. Yeah, it's this one. Find appropriate part to complete the circle. Uh, it's gonna spin it around. Is this just a joke? I mean, the, the whole fucking stream is a joke. You think the things we're taking, we're doing this thing like, seriously? It's this one. Finally, proper inside of the cube. Oh, now that's just fucking offensive. That's just offensive. Even if that's the correct one, I'm not gonna click on it. This is a boring stream. Well, blame my computer for fucking sucking. And I just clicked on the Satan one because of that guy. This is too long. I thought these are, I got like 30 tabs up here to go through. I have no fucking idea. You, I would need to sit down for like 20 minutes to look at this. This is gonna be a screamer. <laughs> Play, no, we're playing brain games. How many red circles on this movie? What, what is it, the, so just how many red circles are there? 
How many blue squares on this movie? <laughs> How many squares on this movie? This is just like a headache simulator. How many bees are collecting honey, flying from flowers to honeycomb, or vice versa? Oh, I didn't know there was a movie. It didn't say this movie. I, it, I think it's... Yeah, no, no, this guy's moving now, too. It's all of them. All seven of them. Find the missing brick. I mean, it has to be one of these three. So we got blue... This is Minesweeper. Red, red. Green, green. Blue, blue. Fuck, I really don't... <laughs> Do you like jazz? Jazz music's pretty good. It is pretty cool. Define absent triangle, move mouse cursor over the image. Oh my god, I don't... Find the absent square. This is boring, you didn't get the meme. What are you talking about, didn't get the meme? Okay, congratulations, you completed the first part of the IQ test. To see your score, click on results button if you... Wish to practice single tasks of this- why is this T like this? Okay, results. Okay. The results of this test can be found by comparing your score with the following IQ scale. The author of this test doesn't pretend to be absolutely exact in estimating your mental skills, however, along with your intelligence, you must have a sense of humor! Oh! Oh, excuse me! Oh, excuse me! This is this result's pretty poor. This is average result. Oh, this is a good result. High intelligence. With such high IQ, you are able to manage large companies. But it is not enough to prove format theorematry in 60 seconds, by the way. Full version of this test will include such a task. Very high intelligence. <laughs> you have to apply to Mensa organization. This is union of people with very high IQ. Get me the fuck out of here. I like- okay, hold on a minute. I feel like this isn't a good test. No, it's not. This is an awful IQ test. An IQ test takes like six hours. Not like 22 minutes. Alright, let's go. Next one. You weren't supposed to see it right off the bat, but this is, uh, this is called monkey drive math. Drive into the barrels whose equation equals the number on the car. You got it. So, just gotta get the right one. Begin the race. Go. All right, I need to get 14. 14 times one is 14. Four times... 14! That's not 14. Seven times two. 14. Hit this other fucking car! 14! I got a bonus! You got all the correct answers, plus two bananas! Now you gotta get to 50. No, we're done. That was quick. This one's called Bus Driver Math. You think I was fucking around when I told you guys that I had like 30 tabs open? We're gonna be here for a little while. Okay, instructions. Calculate whether the money paid by the passengers is enough. Okay. Child is $2, and adult is $4, uh, senior is $1. Uh, that is a, that's a child. Child is no no sorry, not enough. Is this like a fucking eight-year-old driving the car? This this kid's definitely not old enough to operate a vehicle, especially like a, not even. Then he probably has a, not a class. Of Wait, hold on, two, four. Yeah, that's enough. Not enough. Wait, that is enough. That you just keep it. You you overpaid. All right, this one is actually for like a four-year-old. Apparently, if you get it wrong, then you get hurt. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of here. I don't want to do this one anymore. Oh, here we go. This one's good. This, this is World Countries Quiz. Okay, that fits right. It looks all right. It looks good. It looks... Well, let's put it this way. It looks good enough. Let's start with where I know, which is North America. That's Barbados. Uh... Can I zoom in? Antigua, that's it. No, that's sets. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, I wonder what this one is. The United States of America. Is this North America? At this. 
That's uh, yep. okay. Uh, I believe this is Honduras. Nope, it's Costa Rica. It is Jamaica. <laughs> All right, now this is Saint. L <laughs> there's El Salvador. <laughs> hey, look, there's Guatemala. This is not North America. This is not North America. I wonder if this is the Bahamas or not. That's Mexico. There's Belize. There's Honduras. Fucking god damn it. Once you go past that, I don't I have no idea. It is Cuba. <laughs> okay, let's try uh let's try let's try Europe. Spain. Shit. Uh, that's that's Lithuania. No, it's Estonia. They're right next to each other. Now there's a uh, Croatia. That's uh that's the Netherlands. There's uh Sweden. <laughs> oh, there's, there's that one. <laughs> I love how like, here's the thing like. Half of these I'm fucking around, and the other half, like, I'm, I'm not fucking around. Oh, this is Lebanon. I'm, I'm not doing myself any favors by, like, making everybody think I'm, like, a fucking imbecile. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, I, sometimes I do these to my... <laughs> oh, there it is! Norway! Figured it out! Oh, there's Russia. Hmm. Hmm. Is this one France? I don't know. This one could be Switzerland. All right, let's do another IQ test. <laughs> Hard. Play with a time limit. Yeah, let's play with a time limit. <laughs> play. Press the green circle. Press the red circle twice. Press the square. Press the blue text. Press the red text. Press the blue square. Butthead, ah, uh, butthead, why did I lose? My IQ is five. You clicked on a purple square. There, that was, there was the funny one. Let's try it again. Green circle. Red circle twice. Square. Blue text. Red text. Press the blue square. Okay, that's not blue. So, no, oh, look at that. Press the square. I mean, like, all, these are all squares. What? Press the white square. It's this one. It's it's this. It's just the whole screen. It's the screen. It's the whole screen. Too slow, man. Too slow. This is just the impossible quiz, but made by somebody that was a fan. Uh, hello, welcome to the Brain Age Test. My name is Professor Fumble. I calculate your brain age based on a variety of factors. Simply complete three tests to find out your real brain age. Great, you finished test one. Let's move on to the second test. Test two will measure your brain's processing power. Let's go. Blue. Click the word. Click the color. Click the color. Pink. Click the word. It's red. Yeah. Test two is finished. Just one more test remaining. Test three will measure your ability to retain numbers in basic arithmetic. I'm terrible with this shit. This one is easy. Simply solve a sum. Five dollar five dollar twenty five dollar fifteen. <laughs> Fuck. Solve the sum. That's two dollars. Two dollars fifteen cents. Fifty eighty. That's eighty five cents. Fifty five eighty. Sixty seventy eighty ninety hundred one hundred five one twelve. Fuck. Ninety ninety five. Fuck, no, 50. Do the big ones first. 50, one dollar. That's one dollar. <laughs> I can't do this. I have the disease when you can't do math. Have you, I told you guys that. Three, four, five, six, seven. 780. 790. Oh, fuck. I have the goddamn disease where I can't do math. It's, it's embarrassing. I did it. 
Your brain age is 38. <laughs> it's, the, it's the math dyslexia. What is, why, why am I getting cheeseburgers? From Steve Jobs to Oprah, when did I open this? Nah, this is, uh, let's just, let's open the quiz, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, how many different months have exactly 30 days in 2008? I don't know! How old is this website? Uh... <laughs> I, let's, let's go, let's go five. Okay. A farmer has 17 cows, all but eight of them die. How many cows does he have left? All of them die, but eight, eight of them. That's, that's like the oldest trick in the book. Which country is largest in terms of land mass? Australia, Italy, Peru, Spain. It's Australia. It's not, Australia is like a continent and a country, right? And then like both. Which country, well, no, but hold on. Which country is the lot? So, it, 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 what, what's, does, is that count? And I know that's like the am I dumb joke. Australia is a country. It's a continent, but is it a country too? Uh, Australia is a country and a continent. It's a condiment. <laughs> What is the approximate average height of a full-grown man in the United States? Wait, what? It's 5'9". I know this. We all know that by this point. It's, it, this is 2007, though. People have, people have shortened a little bit since then. And what year did the U.S. declare its independence from Great Britain? In 1776, Columbus... Uh... 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. In 1776, George Washington fucking got bled to death because they had a, he had a cold. All right, he finished all the candy except for one piece, which is worth more. One pound of dimes or one kilogram of dimes? One kilogram of dimes. What date does the 4th of July fall on in Russia? Who? I don't know. It's 4th of July. Same. Uh, but why would it... What are you talking about? The what hotel chain is Paris Hilton most closely associated with? The Hilton, because it's her last name. Who's the current Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Oh, but I, that's, I don't... It's not... It's Gordon Brown, because this is 2007. What is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is... Square root is, is 18. 3. The effect of his injury was to prevent him from playing any further. It's effect. What time do you have to get up if the drill sergeant tells you to wake up at 0600? That is 6 a.m. Which of these cities is the capital of a country with a coastline on the Mediterranean Sea? Um, is it Tokyo? Uh, is... Which of these cities is a capital country with the coastline of the Mediterranean Sea. I mean, it's one of these two. Rome is inside. Rome is, no, it's not, it's, no, wait, hold on a minute. I'm going to say Rome. Which is greater, half of one-fourth or one-fourth of half? Um, half of one-fourth is, no, those, those, that's, that's the fucking, that's the same thing. No, it's not. No, is it? Yes, it is. That's that's equal. I I, I don't like these because they they try to do like these little trick questions where they like, oh hey, what what? Hold on a second. You have to read read think about it carefully. Which distance is longer? One mile, a thousand meters, ten thousand centimeters. Um. I don't know. I grew up in North America. We're, we're all fucking idiots and use, like, the mile. Who died first? Julius Caesar, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great. Uh, Genghis Khan. Probably. Because that was, like, 3,000 years ago. How many months are in a decade? Well, a decade's 10 years. So that's 12 times 10. That would be... How many months are in a decade? Okay, so that would be... 12 times 10 is 120. That's a year. So it would be 1,200. No, that's 12 times 100. Yeah. Yes. 
Julius C. It's Alexander the Great. It's Genghis Khan. <laughs> Which shape has the most sides? An octagon. I know that because I saw the W uh, UFC. The Pentagon is five. I know, you know, because like Penta in League, we all play League of Legends. Penta! A Penta kill! It's definitely Octagon. What language is most commonly spoken in Brazil? Portuguese. Get out. <laughs> How many sides does a hexagon have? Oh, I just heard, I just learned this. God damn it. God damn it. I was just trying to look at, I was just trying to look up a bunch of shit. Yeah. And there's an iPhone update. God damn it. <laughs> look at this shit. Can you see? Like, there's a fucking verifying an iPhone update. Yeah. Look at it. Oh yeah, iPhone update. Great. I'm trying to cheat and I can't even fucking do that. What is the chemical symbol for iron? Uh, I believe it's FE. Approximately how far is it from New York City to London? If I will travel a thousand miles just to just yeah. see you. Nine. That was from I would walk 500 miles in uh, that's that was from Scotland to Ireland, right? Uh, glass knot was a political policy introduced in what country? Which is not a prime number prime number is a number that can be um, divided into itself For uh, it's a it's things that are divided by two It's not 13 13 is not a prime number Okay, so, uh, <laughs> you're one of the six percent of the population. All right, well, let's just move on to a, what? Fuck all this intelligent shit. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? Oh, you're smarter than this guy. Are you more? So you're more intelligent than this guy? No. What? What matters is what element are you? Is what matters. None of that matters. It's not about how smart you are. It's about internalizing your spirit. It's all about the numbers, Jeremy. It's all about how, how smart you are and how brilliant you are. No, it's about your fucking spirit. All right, let's find out what I am. Okay, question one out of 15. You're at home alone late one night and there's a thunderstorm going on outside when the power goes out. This happened two days ago. So I can give you a true answer to this. This happened two days... You know, I got a lot of shit from my hair. People were saying like, well, you look like a fucking, you look like a real like villain. So I slicked it back today. So I actually look like a fucking real like 80s movie villain. Slicked back with oil. All right, you're at home late one night. This, this happened two days ago. Just, okay, uh, what, what do you do when the power goes out during a thunderstorm? Just sit there in the dark and calmly wait for the storm to pass. Um, maybe go over to the window and watch the lightning flash. Shrug and go find a flashlight to read by. Curl up under the blankets in your bed while you try to block out the roaring thunder. No. What am I, a dog? Look around for something to hide under while worrying about your chances of getting struck by lightning. Um, I'm, I would do one of these two things. Go over to the window and watch the lightning or I would just shrug and just get a flashlight and just sit there. I'd probably watch it for a little while. It'd be like interesting to me for a little while. Which of the following comes closest to your greatest fear? Drowning or suffocating? Dying of starvation or thirst? Flying or falling? Public speaking or fire? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I understand this one. I understand this one. I understand this one. Public speaking or fire? Uh... In closed spaces or an animal attack? I'm fine with I'm doing public speaking right now. What there's nothing wrong with that. Fire on the other hand, that's scary. No, and I'm not afraid of animals. Animals don't scare me. Fire doesn't scare me. Flying doesn't scare me. Drowning, suffocating, that doesn't scare me. Alright, but dying of thirst or starvation. I could I could see that that would be like I'd actually that'd be pretty close. That's pretty terrifying. By the way, those of you that said that it was bullshit, that, that I didn't actually have an update, excuse me, what is that? You think I lie to you guys on this stream? Dying of starvation or thirst would probably be it. Let's go, next question please. What would you rather gain without losing anything? 
Strength, knowledge, time, peace, or power. Which of the following groups of color do you most uh, find most appealing? Green and brown, red and gold, white and aqua, violet and pale blue, indigo and cerulean. That hair is whack. Well, I, they, I don't. I did it for a joke. You guys talking shit about my hair every day. I did it as like a. I did it as like a fuck me. Probably, probably violet. Probably pale blue. White. Oh no, white. White and aqua. I like that. Okay, here we go. Keep going. If you and your family and friends were going on a camping trip. What would you probably spend most of your time doing? Swimming, boating, uh, offing yourself? Oh no, off by yourself. Reading or something. <laughs> Whoa. Sitting by the campfire or cooking things over it. Walking, hiking, enjoying... No, fuck that. Watching the sunset, glad to get away from the bustle of everyday life. Eh, probably that. Um, probably swimming. That's like It's fun to get in the water and move around. No, not just watching the sunset. What's your greatest strength? You are steady and reliable. No. You are caring and passionate. Yes. You are strong of character. Yes. You're optimistic and friendly. Yes. You are wise and give good advice. No. So what, what do you got? We got these uh, these three. Care, am, I, am I more caring and passionate than I am strong of character? Am I more optimistic and friendly than I am uh, strong? I'm gonna say I'm strong of character. I'm not gonna, that, that would be, that's be what I would do. What's your greatest weakness? Your wild mood swings. I don't even need to read the other ones. Your negative attitude. Uh, not really. Your temper. Your inability to sit still and be quiet. Your stubbornness. Your temper. Your... It's all of them. Can I pick all of them but temper? No, but all, it, it's every one of them. Oh, God damn it. It's, it. It could be any one of these. Except for, like, negative attitude. I don't really have a negative attitude. I don't. It's it's definitely this one. It is. Pick a word. Hmm, I wonder why they want me to do this. People game these systems all the time. Like, oh, hmm, I think flame is my favorite word because I want to share to my friends that I got fire. It's like, come on, man. I'm going to pick, I'm going to do it for real. Snowflake, flame, droplet, leaf, cloud. Say them out loud and close your eyes. Snowflake, flame, droplet, leaf, cloud. Cloud. Droplet, snowflake, cloud, cloud. Uh, what's your dream eye color? I don't have it. The, a dr People like dream about their eye colors. By the way, I love over here. Look at this. Report illegal content. What the fuck does that mean? I don't have, what, okay, I have light blue eyes. If I don't have a dream eye color, can I just pick the eye color I currently have? What is your preferred sense? Sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch. Mm. It's probably hearing. It's definitely hearing, because, like, honestly, you see me with the one ear button. It's hearing, for sure. Which situation would you find the most difficult to cope with? Being emotionally hurt by someone close to you. Being overwhelmed by problems. That happens every fucking day. Don't worry. That, I, I got that under control. Being used. Being abandoned. Being humiliated in public. That happens all the fucking time. That's happened like five times tonight. So that's I'm okay with that. It pro probably this. Probably like being hurt like emotionally by somebody that like you would never expect would do something like that to you. That's pretty like fucked up. Yeah. I don't like that one. Uh, how or where do you seek comfort when you're upset? In a pet or stuffed animal... Alright, that's a little... Yeah, that, that, yeah, like, but this one, I don't know about that one. No, not a good cry. Not, no. I, 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 you know what, I do the best, like, 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 Otto. When Otto is, like, around, it makes me feel much better. Which of the following animals do you find most appealing? Stallion, eagle, polar bear, dolphin, or stallion? Hmm. Not sure here. One of the two stallions, or a uh, polar bear, eagle... Dolphin. No, dolphins are dumb. Polar bears are dumb. Stallions are dumb. Eagle. Eagle. They can fly. 
What is your favorite season? Summer, autumn, winter, not sure, or spring? The easy answer here is summer. It's probably spring, though. Because spring is like a good combination between nice out and not really hot. It's not cold, it's not too hot, it's not- it's just right. It, spring is the Goldilocks just right porridge of all the seasons. Spring. Last question. If an artist were to paint a stylized representation of you, how would you want to look in the painting? Yeah. Results. What's your element? What'd I get? For 40% you are, your element is free-spirited air. You're an optimist, and you tend to look at the bright side of things. Because of this, you have many friends who are attracted to your outgoing personality. You also value self-expression. And would probably enjoy writing, or art, or maybe both. You hate being tied down with obligations, so you try to keep your life fairly simplified. You, have, you love to have fun, and you brighten everybody's day with your smile. Only 20% got this. For another 20%, I'm ice. <laughs> you are solitary and quiet, and would probably rather be in your room reading a book than with a large group. Justice is important to you, and you won't hesitate to stand up for others. Though quiet, you are strong and determined and never give up. Your unique personality is admired by those around you. Uh, no. That's not right. That's- this is like a, you know, horoscopes. Uh, when you read the first part of the horoscope and you're like, holy shit, that's so me? And you go down like two or three paragraphs and it's not you at all. They- they, they just make sure they give you every single self-confirmation that they possibly could. Oh yeah, I am like wicked outgoing and I'm like fun. Oh, that is me. I can't wait to tell everybody. They're all the fucking same. Every single one of these is the same thing. It's just find the one that you think that you are and which... Look at this. You could be any one of these. There you go. I'm fucking air. I'm full of air. Uh, it's called the Forer Effect. It's a common psychological phenomenon whereby individuals give high accuracy ratings to descriptions of their personality that supposedly are tailored specifically to them that are, in fact, vague and general enough to apply to a wide range of people. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I mean, honestly. But I mean, like, but, that, but, but more importantly, I really want to know what SpongeBob character am I? Uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, what is your favorite food? I would say uh, sushi's great. Uh, fish chums is that that's disgusting. I would never eat that. Oysters gross. Ice cream okay. Uh, nuts. Mm, ha it's gonna be sushi. Let's go. Let's go with it. sushi or hamburger. I think I like sushi more than I like hamburgers. Yeah, sushi. How are your friends? Uh, they are goofy. A lot like me. They're kind of mean. Awkward but classy. I don't have any friends. They're fun but odd. Uh, I would say that my friends are fun, but they're a little odd. Favorite- what's my favorite Spongebob quote? <laughs> God damn it, Spongebob! Who says that? Who said that? They don't swear in Spongebob, I've never heard that. <laughs> God damn it, Spongebob! What the fuck is wrong with you? Got any hobbies? Okay. Counting stuff, musical, martial arts, avoiding certain people, planning stuff, hunting, or bubble blowing. <laughs> He's fucking naked. Counting stuff, the rest of the stuff sucks. <laughs> this is absolutely Squidward. Alright, let's see if we can figure this out. Spongebob, um, uh, Sandy. Why am I holding up three? I just said two. Spongebob Sandy, who's counting stuff? That's Mr. Krabs, right? S Squidward, musical. Squidward, probably again, hunting. I'm gonna go with counting stuff, that sounds like fun. Uh, where do you often find yourself? At work? Or at an orchestra? In a shop? Home? In a school? I'm home. How many relatives do you have? I have a few, but very far away. At least 10,000. Mommy and daddy. Oh, you know, regular family with cousins and stuff. I don't know, don't care. Well, I'm only connected to one or two of them. Oh, you know. Regular family with cousins and stuff. 
I love that these are made by, like, kids. Like, it's perfect. Uh, how do you live with my beloved wife and husband? Like my pet, alone with my ego. I got some company time to time. Alone, but it's still fun. That depends. Now, that depends. It could be any day. A friend's gonna come over. I got a family over. How, how high is your IQ? Stop rapping. Last question, what do you what do you work with? Art and culture? Own business? Serving a big boss? Nope. Teaching? Nope. Business? Nope. Unemployed? I, I, art and culture. Art this is this this is this is art right here. I'm doing it right now. This is this is performance art. You guys don't understand? This is this is a living painting that you're seeing. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Da Vinci, they're all dead. I remain. You understand? I remain as a performance artist. Art and culture. <laughs> well, I got Mrs. Puff. Uh, okay, you you are probably a teacher in a class. There is this one student you just want to strangle, but can't. When you get angry, you easily blow up and let it all burst out. Most of the time, you spend alone searching for love. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like a half of this is real. Look at this. This is, this is what half, this is, this, you guys are the students. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Fucking, there's one, there's one student you just want to strangle, but can't. I love that immediate turnaround. You want to strangle, but can't, you know, dial it back a little bit, a few notches. So this one is going to play various NES theme songs or video game sounds. Um, I got to guess if, if I can get them correct. This is the super, this is not super, this is regular Nintendo. I, I actually am curious as a, you know, let, let, let's be like for real. I'm curious as to how well I'm going to do on this one. There's one, there's one for Super Nintendo as well. We're going to do this. All right, here we go. Got to guess the right music, what game it is from. This is not going to be a screamer. I've already, like, I've already opened it for more than... It's been open the whole time. Okay? Let's see if it's loud. Okay. Well, obviously, this, this, is, this is Super Mario Brothers. This is, uh, Super... Uh, do I have to get it completely right? Mario Brothers. Got it. Easy. Let's go to number two. Okay. Easy. This is, this is, this is The Legend of Zelda. Okay. What about this one? Uh, that is... That is Castlevania. Three for three so far. Let's keep going. Hmm. Is this Punch-Out? Yeah, it is. Punch-Out. That's Bubble Bobble immediately. Got it. Thank you. Five for five. That is Mario Brothers 3. More specific. More specific. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Huh? Mario 3. What the f- like, That's what I just wrote. Oh, shit. Don't tell me what this is. I'll go back to that one. It's Contra. That's, uh, Duck Hunt. Dog comes in right after that. That's Mega Man. Oh, what a classic. I, this, I, this is my favorite quiz. Mega Man 2. Didn't even need to be specific. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, that's Excited Bike. Excite Bike. I remember that. That was that was one of my favorites. That was one of my favorites growing up. 
What the fuck is this? Ah, uh, that's the uh, Donkey Kong original Donkey. No, that's yeah, Don original Donkey Kong. I have no idea. Ah, I can feel it. I can feel that one. I'll come back to it. Oh, these are all just burning on the tip of my tongue. Ah! What? Oh. Double dragon. I have no idea. Adventure Island? Sounds like Adventure Island. It is. I can't get hints on these. Adventure Island. I don't know. Ah, oh, that's Ick that's Kid Icarus. I know that because I played the Smash Brothers level that includes that song. Not sure. I have 277 hints, apparently. Oh, baby! That's Ninja Turtles. That's the first Ninja Turtles game on the NES. All the Ninja Turtles games had awesome music, by the way. Turtles in Time had awesome music. The fir this first game had awesome music. That's snake rattle and roll. Come on, that's snake rattle and roll. That's snake rattle and roll. I know that one. That's um, River City Ransom. River City Ransom. That's a great one. I can hear that again. I see it. I can feel it in my bones. I've heard this song a thousand times. It's Pokemon. What? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I do know what it is! That's like Pokemon Red! Pokemon Red Green Tea! <laughs> Not many plumbers have PhDs. Oh, Dr. Mario. Oh, that, that hint is too good! Intended as a last-ditch effort by Square to end their days as a developer and instead revitalized them. Is it Final Fantasy? Because that, that was supposed to be the last fantasy, right? The final one. Here it is, okay. Let me try to get this one without this. I think I can get it. Shoot him up by Konami. The Konami code granted all the power-ups. Takes place in space, you shoot them. Should have known about that fucking dumbass comedian. Takes place in space. Included areas where you had to dodge volcano fire. Rhymes with radius. <laughs> Gra <laughs> rhymes. You, instead of rhymes with radius, you should have said anything else, because you just have to put a G on there. Hideo Kojima's vision taken and bastardized. Metal Gear? Huh. I don't know. Make your way to the exit of a hundred mazes. Power-ups include upgrades to your walking speed and your weapon range. Bombs are your weapon. 
had one of the worst sequels ever on the Xbox 360. <laughs> Bomberman? <laughs> I like these hints. A world tournament that includes countries as Poland and Czechoslovakia. Fights would escalate until teams were fighting amongst themselves. How does Zamboni intermission? Ice hockey? It's just, oh yeah, so it's ice hockey. Can you learn how to fucking spell for once in your life? Okay. Snake rattle and roll! That's snake rattle and roll. I'll look it up right. Let's, I, 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 I want to make sure I got this right. I ascend through a hundred levels in this vertical platforming game. Guess what was a vertical platforming game? Go and collect the eggplant at the top. You, it was, you were snakes. Characters are featured in spell. It's ice climbers. Snake rattle and roll theme song. Let's hear it. Come on! Snake, rattle and roll. We got snake, rattle and roll. It's like that was the best fucking game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's close. Balloon. No, no, it's not joust. Is it joust? It's just balloon pop. No, balloon ride. What's it called? Balloon what? Ballooner. Balloon. What's it called? Balloon man. Balloon fight. Not joust. A racing game by Square. Choose between a racing and normal car or an F1. Is it F-Zero? This game was pretty rad for its time. But that's not a hint. That's like a personal opinion of the game. Rad racer. Oh. It was a hint. This beat-em-up by Rare is well known for how frustratingly hard it is. Oh, it's Battletoads. This one is gonna drive me crazy. I don't want the hint for this. This, 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 this is a game about food, right? This, it's a game about food. You, you like serve food to customers and shit. This, it's a feeding game. There's food in this game, I know it. This game, based on a TV show, had music from the TV show. The main protagonist is a duck. Ugh. There's no food in this fucking game. DuckTales, what a classic, I don't even know it. This game popularized backtracking after gaining power-ups. Pokemon! There it is. Pokemon Stadium. Had a feet. They haven't made a fucking Metroid in like 10 years. I was I supposed to know. She's only been in like Smash Brothers. Pokemon wasn't on the NA. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I, th I think I like how shitty the Game Boy quality was. Beat em up game by. Data East. Save Sylvia from Mr. X. Named after a martial art. Is it just Kung Fu? That's an old one. Got it! Completed the quiz. Uh, there's another one. This one, I don't know if we want to do this. Because this is, uh, you guys want to keep doing this? Because look at all these. We got a lot to do. So this is, uh, 16-bit era games. So this could be Sega, this could be Super Nintendo. That's clear, that's Sonic. Sonic? Oh, I don't... Okay. That's it. This one's way nicer and flashier than the other one. All right. I don't know.
I don't know this one either. Anyway, we're gonna have to use some hints. I thought I was gonna be better at this. I'm way worse at these ones. Wow, I don't know. This is hard. Gotta get one here. See, the issue is I, I never owned a Sega Genesis. So half of these I'm not gonna even... I'm, I would never have even wanted to know or need. What? Ten? We got a hint back here? This is Sega Genesis. I'll get this one. Hold on. Power Rangers. Got it. This game was awesome. Super Nintendo Power Rangers video game. Nice, this is side scrolling beaten up. This game was really fun. <laughs> Harvest Moon? You can, you can always tell when it's Sega Genesis when it sounds awful. Sega Genesis music and sounds always sound like they were coming out of a tin can through somebody's blanket holding over their mouth. Oh man. I don't know. I, I have it up here, I just don't have it. Oh, I wonder what system this is for! Why does every Sega Genesis song have to sound like the intro to Seinfeld? They're the same songs. We're gonna have to start using some hints. It's Earthworm Jim. Don't even need a single other second. One of my favorite characters ever. That's a good one. There he is, Mr. Jim. I'm like bobbing my head like, yeah, I like this one. I don't know though. I have no idea. These are all gonna need hints. From your Altered brain. Beast. I forgot about that one. Don't forget about Altered Beast. All you need is that Vincent Price at the very beginning to yell at you and you know it's Altered Beast. Oh god. What is it? Uh. I'm, why was I gonna say Booger Man? I don't know. Like Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania. What? Which WWF is this? Fuck. Well, I got four out of like thirty. All you need is the first like three notes to know what Zelda is. It's gone. I don't know. I know this one. I know this one! Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone! Thank you! Just kidding. It's a magical Mickey Mouse thing, right? That, that's that's a, that's a ma the, ma the magical Mickey Mouse's magical journey. No, wait, that... Is that Donkey Kong Country? Yes, it is. Okay.
not punch out. Super punch out. No, it's not. God damn it. God damn it! Come on, I know this one. I'm pissed, I know what this is. That's King Arthur. King Arthur's Court. That was, was that even a video game? Or was that a fucking, like, docu-series on History Channel? Stop Mario Kart. Got that one. Like all the all the first party Nintendo games I'll get. Except for Dr. Mario and Metro. No, that is correct. You're right. How do you spell Al Aladdin? How do you spell Aladdin? How do you spell Aladdin? Got it, there we go. Aladdin. I mean, is this like, how, is this video games or test your knowledge of recognizing TV and movie shows? Animaniacs. That is just a nutcracker. Did they make it a video game? The ra the racker. Look, one of my favorite video games ever made. If you get, please play it if you never played it before. It's one of the best games ever made. I'll get that every fucking time. I'll play the whole song. Okay, well, is there an option where I can have them play the whole song? Um. What is it? What is it? The, the, it's a game with the. Uh, it's a scary game on Super Nintendo. Oh, what? I just... I just clicked the screen accidentally and got the... It's Metroid! I never would have guessed that. Ever. Those sounds, I can hear them. Let me hear this again. Shit. I need to know what this is. I've been driving crazy. It's Mega Man. Mega Man! Mega Man X! Mega Man X2! Mega Man... Mega Man 7! Mega Man 8! Mega Man 6! Mega Man 5! Mega Man 4! Mega Man 3! Mega Man 9! Mega Man 8! Mega Man X3! Mega Man X2! Mega Man X! Ow! We can better start using hints. Um, I, nobody's, I know this. This is gonna drive me crazy. I, I played this. Zombies ate my neighbors? Zombies ate my neighbors, right? Yes! Got it! Let's turn the time. Yeah, uh, by far the best beat-em-up uh, that I've ever played. So, if you get a chance to play Turtles in Time, don't play the remastered one, it's, a it's absolute garbage. Play the original one that was for Super Nintendo. Get it on me later if you have to. It's the best uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up that's ever been made. This is the nostal- yeah, this, this is- this turned into the nostalgia stream. It wasn't- a, it wasn't intentional. I was- I, I would- we are just killing time because my computer sucks. But it turned into this. The moon Song from DuckTales. Some would argue is the best uh, video game song to ever exist. I don't know about that, but I think there's a few that could hold that uh, up, you know. I need to know what this is, I don't care. Micro machines? I don't- what- what is this? What is this? Rock and roll racing. 
I have never played that game before and I've, I'm okay with cheating. The Lost Vikings. Jeez. That's also a Blizzard game. It hurts. Windows firewall, your virus protection is off. Okay. Why did that happen? Virus game? Okay. Uh, what? Will you, you can stop doing that now. That'd be great. Hold on a second. Get... What the fuck is going on right now? What is going on? What are you talking about? Oh god, here comes a blue screen. I think that I think this is the computer trying to, to desperately not blue screen. What the fuck is happening right now? Ah, uh, that what, what? I've never heard that sound before. It's just opening random programs. My computer's been taken over. It's opening and closing random programs. <laughs> I'm gonna get like ransomware on stream. Are we gonna do like a virus scan on stream? I just did this. You guys thought I was bullshitting you. You guys thought I was like fucking around. You thought I was just making all this shit up. Everybody thought I was pulling. Every you thought I was pulling your leg. I, I, that ju I thought that was somebody in the computer just coming to get me. Somebody just gave- somebody just gave like fucking so much money and I thought it was a guy talking to me that took over the computer. Why is it mirrored? I didn't do that. Why did it do that? You see what I'm talking about? You- you guys seriously- I, I, You think I make this shit up? You do! I don't! I didn't do that. It just that just happened. A ghost took over. I have a fuck on my computer. My house is haunted. I have a haunted fucking house. Super Mario Brothers. I know this one. This is a classic shooter on the SNES. Smash TV! I'm surprised they've never made a- I should play this game on stream. Smash TV is fucking awesome. It's one of my favorite Super Nintendo video games. And I don't know why I do this sometimes, but I do like- I'm coming at you, I'm grabbing you, and I'm pulling you back. Let's go. Toe Jam and Earl! That's a good one too! I get more than four in a row, five in a row. Seinfeld, yep. That's a good Seinfeld cover. Mario RPG. There's a hole in this straw and it's pissing me off. What ga I've never- what game is that? game is this? The straw- no, there's a hole in the straw, they're not the two holes. I'm talking about one that when you bend it too much it breaks. Terminator? There's no giant alien in there. Gunstar Heroes. It's not Gunstar Heroes? What is this? Fuck, I'm wasting my points! What the hell is that? It's like a gummy pogo stick. Why do I have to lean in? I'm like, I have to lean in when I get close to my monitor? What am I, fucking 80? That's a sad Kool-Aid man. That's a sad Kool-Aid- that's, that's a Kool-Aid man in a life the game piece. Had a child, and there it is. 
That's not Rystar. Rystar is a star. That's clearly a fucking sad jet ski. Grass <laughs> Park. Right? <laughs> the game that game is called. Am I spelling it wrong? Jurassic. Jurassic. I'm not doing it on purpose. Jurassic thick. Jurassic thick. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking out of your minds. <laughs> uh, sometimes I gotta disappear. <laughs> Your ass thick. <laughs> there we go, finally. <laughs> Alright, composure! Get it together before the camera turns back on! The hair is like just going. Hey, I, I, try, I did like a thing where I just slicked it back with like fucking grease. And it's starting to fight back. And look even worse. All right, let's keep going. I want to beat. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to beat this game. What are we doing? Okay, I, I still, I still have to do my alignment test, my Dungeons and Dragons alignment test. I, we're, we're stuck on this for a little while, but it's fucking video game music, and we all love that. We're not going to stop until we get at least fifteen of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We already have fifteen. <laughs> Final Fantasy, what Final Fantasy is this? Oh, it's just Final Fantasy, okay. Star Fox. Star Fox. That's NBA Jam. Got it. Oh, I was so good at this game back in, uh, back in high school. This looks like a game I don't want to play, and I don't even care. Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson had a video game? I would never have gotten that. Thank you, chat. Moonwalker? Alright, this one, on the other hand, is gonna drop me nuts. Dragon. How would anybody have gotten that? I, I can't believe anybody could have ever gotten that. Who played that game? A beaver? What is this game? Is it be bejeweled? This is not bejeweled. What is this then? Gems? Columns. I should have known that. Now this is Gunstar Hero. Now, now they're coming out. When you see the picture... Egg... Boogerman. Eggman. No, this is, uh, Bar... Barnaby, um... And the boy... The boy in his, uh... What is it called? Oh my god. It's like the boy in his... In his Barnaby... Uh... Little Nemo. No. What's... What is it? The one... It's with the guy... The boy in his fun, fa famous hatching egg. The famous... The guy in his hatching egg. Billy, what the puzzle game? Though played like a platformer, you could say that this game was fantastic. Although the characters were all eggs, they didn't have any egg-like characteristics at all. No idea. Kid Chameleon. My fucking hands today.
my keyboard. It's what, what, let me show you something. When I type another letter, do you see that like insert is on? Why is insert on? I didn't do that. My favorite kid, kid, kid melon. Why is insert even a thing? Why? And when did I press it? What is this? The insert feature has been disabled since Windows 7. Oh, really? Oh, really? Has it? Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold on. Looks like... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Insert. It is still here. <laughs> what is it? What game is this? Oh, that doll. Oh, I know. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, the Glob Glob Gap Glab. I've seen this before. Right. The glob go gap go lab. Shitty Batman. Microsoft Paint Turkey is a video game. I have no clue. Running run out of free points here. I don't know. Rapid fire now. If I can't get it by looking at the picture, I'm not going to do it. Ah. Oh. I don't know. But that's the guy from the Monster Rancher stream. Echo the Dolphin. Rapid fire game mode. Here we go. The... Look, it's an alien. The video game. I don't know. I don't have enough points. There we go. That's the end. What is this? What is this Cocoa Puffs bird? All right, that's it. We're done with this. Let's move on. All right, what's next? I don't know. This, this apparently. This is called Geek Mind. Simply name the game shown in the picture. Oh, it's another video game test. We we got a couple of these. Video, vid another video game test. Name the video game in the picture. Pac-Man. This is a brain. It's a brain game. This is a brain game. This is a brain game. What the fuck? Uh, it's called Brain Academy. Brain Training Academy. I have nine seconds left. What is it called? Got it. Okay, this wasn't fair. We're gonna do this again. I'm gonna do it. Skip. Minus 25 points. Brutal Legend. I like this game. We're redoing it because that wasn't fair. Pac-Man, I got, I got fucked over in Pac-Man. I, I, I like this. Brain Games. I'm ready. Level 1. Uh, Dragons. Dragon's Lair. Why? Why was wrong with the first one? Mirror's Edge. Got it. Keep going. Come on. Bonus. Uh, Spelunky. Incredible Hulk.
X-Men. Skip it. Who cares? <laughs> Bomberman. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Come on, Bomberman 2. Woo! God of War. Let's be, let's get some time back here. Mario World. Get back up to 60 seconds. I will destroy this game. That ah uh, ah uh, yeah, yeah, they made two other they made another one that uh, Bethesda Fallout. Mario Galaxy. Delta, easy. Civ 2? Uh, I don't know, it's probably some weird football game that has a weird name. It's not Star Tropics? What is this? Is this Zelda? Fah! I thought it was gonna show me the same game twice. Star Tropics is an awesome game, by the way. I don't fucking know! Mega Man Soccer! Ah! I wanna do that again. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say Beekman's World! What is it? Oh! Oh my god, Animal Crossing! <laughs> Animal Cross-Dressing! That's not what I was gonna write! My typing wasn't so bad. Got it. Don't even need to be specific, who cares? Anxiety! <laughs> Burger time. That's a great game. Uh, Law- The Law and Order game, but you point at people and you scream at them. The- Objection! What? I don't- I've never played one of them! Law- Destiny's Law! Destiny's Child! De- um... Dear! Oh my god, it's a guy's first and last name! It's called like- like... Professor Layton! What is his name? It's the character's name! Jojo's Bizarre Adventure! The Cat in the Hat! What is this? <laughs> Andrew Lupus, what's his fucking name? What is the guy's fucking name? <laughs> Phoenix Wright, <laughs> Judge Judy. It just was gone. I the, the music, the funny. I gotta turn the music down a little. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I like this game. It's super quick and it really like gets me going. Let's go. Aladdin. Sp did I'm spelling it right? It was two D's, right? Hold on a minute. Like, am I spelling it wrong? Fucking dummy, dummy, dummy. 
Calm down. That easiest one they got so far. Come on. Doesn't it? You, as long as you get the person's name correct. Wii Sports. Mario 3. Pong. Got it. Mario 2. Oh, do you have to put Super Mario? Difficulty up. Obviously not. Boshi. I want to be the Boshi. I want to be the Boshi. I want to be the guy. Burger time. Contra. It's Contra 3. <laughs> Mario Safari? I don't understand. Skip it. Uh... Age, sun, Sage of Sun, Golden Sun. It's a good game. Sid Vicious is the main character there, that's all I know. No, not Mario, not Mario Wii. Oh man, calm down. This is melee. That's obviously brawl. That's not melee. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Pokemon. Don't think I know obscure games. Yeah, Chrono Cross. Bring it on! Come on! Bring it on! Bring it on! <laughs> Bring it on! Fuck! <laughs> the movies. That actually looked like the movies. Got to know... That's Final Fantasy X. I didn't learn that because that, that, I can see, recognize those graphics. That's Street. What's, which Street Fighter is this? Oh, God damn it. Street Fighter 2. I was going to say, what if it was like Turbo Ultra Alpha uh, Destructozoid? Whatever the fuck it would be. What? Is this Warcraft? Yes, it is. Higher difficulty. Let's go. Um, you've gone in that game? Oh shit, what is this? Oh my god! Half-Life 2! I was thinking it was like a Resident Evil game. Pluck, no. It's the egg game! It's the stupid fucking egg game again! You. Assassin's Creed. Did I spell it wrong? Last one, promise, then I'm gonna do my personality type. We're gonna do my, my alignment. Got it right this time. How many V's is in that game? Go 
Ghostbusters. Donkey Kong. Too many Vs. The price is right. That's not even a video game. This is just a game show. Scribble knots. Scribble. <laughs> Ribble knots. Is it different? Is it not not? Is it is it scribble knots? Ah! If only. If only. I know this game, but I don't know it at the same time. Skip it. Crazy taxi. <laughs> Lego Batman. All right, we're back up to 51 seconds. Double Dragon. Punch out. I know, I recognize I got the glasses. Creator's Dilemma. Is this Alan Wake? Alan Wake. Fucking don't think I know this shit. Miz. Is it Miz or Mrs.? Mrs. Pac-Man. Pong. <laughs> what's the- what's the one that can't- what is it? Metroid Prime! Professor Layton! Oh, fuck you. Wait, wait. I was gonna say, like, in the cage. I don't know why. Ice climbers. I have no idea. Final fight. <laughs> Milk car. Yoshi's Island, Mario, Super Mario World 2. I get it to 30. No, don't- if you don't know, just skip. There's no reason not to skip. Somebody gave 50 fucking dollars. Hold on. Don't make me do super! One more? One more? One more! The people have spoken! One more! No fucking around. One more. This is the last one. Not even joking. Getting the 30 points. I am- no, What do you mean nobody said that? It's all people have been saying. I was gonna say Zelda Game Boy. Game- Was there a Game Boy Zelda like that? <laughs> Double Dragoon. Yeah, Panzer Dragoon Orta. What is it called on the fucking Wii? Wii punch outs? Punch, punch out Wii? It's just called punch out. It's 
Sky Skyler. Um, what is this game called? There's an entire engine made. Uh, Sky. Does the cry cry engine cry far cry cry crisis? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Skip. I don't care. That like that was gonna help. <laughs> Skyler. Oh please. No, that's not who it is. What the the name of the game? I just pressed the Windows key. Pitfall. Why am I having? I just had so much trouble right there. That was insane. I remember that scene. There it is! Shit! Ninja Turtles. I know it, but I can't say it. Star Wars. Get a few in a row here, come on. The game with the chainsaw and it was on the Wii and it was really bloody and it was the first M-rated game on the Wii. Chainsaw guy, I don't even know. Crime City or something. Back up to 20 seconds. There we go. I'm fine now. Spelt it right. Don't worry. Don't know. Very animated tonight. Knights. Who could forget knights? The dog. Dog Zelda. Twilight Princess. <laughs> I have to play it again. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to do this again. I'm so, I have to do this again. I'm really sorry, everybody, but we have to do it again. <laughs> I, I, I am like so addicted to this right now. I'm so sorry. I said one more, but we have to get to 30. I'm sorry. We're gonna memorize them all before we... I, this is fun. I like this. <laughs> Always Street Fighter 2, don't ever make it anything else. I know what this is, but I can't say it. It's it's not there. So what was wrong with this last time? Now there's a space. Okay, I gotta get another one right off the bat.
Not Street Fighter 54, it's Street Fighter 4. <laughs> yeah, maybe in like another 10 to 20 years there'll be a Street... Don't know. Upgrade! Oh boy, my favorite fucking game, Diablo 2. Gonna get to 30 this time. I got plenty of time, plenty of hints. Don't care. Donkey Kong Country 3, it was the Baby Kong guy, whatever his name was. Ghouls and Ghosts! There it is! I knew it was gonna show up somewhere tonight. I knew it. Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Shit. Fuck. Modern Warfare 2? No, it wasn't. That was not Modern Warfare 2. What? Why is Minesweeper on here, of all things? All right, but we climb back out of that hole. Double dragon. <laughs> Slow down. <sighs> eh, fucking angry birds. That's a- that's a still from the movie, too, of all things. I don't know. Fuck, I know this. Oh, this is, uh, Guy Fieri saves the world! No, um... What's the star the guy with the fucking guitar? Skip it! I don't know what his name was. Scott, uh, Scott Pilgrim. I don't know. Okay, come on. I need to get to 30. That was Uncharted. They're using this. Okay, I was Jack Ryan Radio would probably would have been correct as well. Advanced Wars. No, what is it called? Advanced Wars. No, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's it's called Advanced Wars. Thank you. Not Advanced Wars. Advanced Wars. Oh no. Everybody puts the Lost Vikings in like it's some game that everyone needs to know existed. Don't have any idea. I don't know, Mario Party? Skip it, I don't have time for this, gotta get this one right, right now. That was Far Cry. Alright, I did it. We're done. We can move on. I'm done. So, um, this is, uh, what, what is your character alignment? So, let's start with the first question here. Um, pick a song to listen to. I don't, I don't, me against the world. Oh, I listen to Beethoven while killing people. 
Okay. Everyday Hero Smash Mouth. Monster Warriors Monster. The Confrontation. I've never heard any of these songs. I'm, we have to figure this out. All right, so this was the first one is Me Against the World Simple Plan. Let's see if I enjoyed this song. Again, these are, these are first listens. I've never, I've, nesser, ne I've never listened to any of these. Okay. Let's see. Not gonna be just the victims. We're dragging our dreams and they tear them apart till everyone's the same. Gotta go, no place to go. I've got nowhere to. I'm just reading. I don't know. I don't. But the song sucks. I'm done with it. I don't know the name. There was the lyrics are on the screen. I'm glad you got the joke. Okay. Okay. I like that one. So far, that's the best, the best one. Now, how about Monster by Imagine Dragons? Why is Imagine Dragons on here twice? Who are the imaginary dragons? How would this determine your character alignment? I, okay, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no to that one. So, so far, it's Everyday Superhero by Smash Mouth. Uh, Warriors by Imagine Dragons. What, League of Legends 2014 tournament? Is this a League of Legends character? This is from the League of Legends World Tournament. I don't play League, sorry. Alright, how about the confrontation? Valjean, at last, we see each other plain. Monsieur Le Maire, you'll wear a different chain. Before you say another word, Chabert, before you chain me up like a slave again, listen to me. There is something this is fucking classic. This is good. Do. Yeah. Okay. I like that one. This is between this and Smash Mouth. That's a good. That's a good one. All right. What about Monster? One ear. That's good. Nope. No. No. Uh, how about Let's Start a Riot? No. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be the confrontation by Les Mis. Okay. Good. Pick a quote. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your mind. I will never rest and neither will you. Forgive me, but to me, you've been dead for centuries. Who, it doesn't even say who said these. You broke the protocol of temporal displacement. You cheated. Illegal is always faster. There are all types of prisons, kid, and I'm making sure your prison is the town where you live. Ah, uh, the Eiffel Tower and the ever-romantic City of Lights. We're definitely coming back here, baby, you know, when we don't have a world to save. It is simple. There is good and there is evil. There are those who commit crimes and those who stop them. Is this Captain America who said this? I'm a thief, kid. I'm not threatening your city. Just looking out for number one. Uh, how about, how about Ah, the Eiffel Tower? We're gonna do the- we're gonna, we're gonna get, like, French as our alignment. We're gonna be, like, French neutral. Which Hogwarts house would you like to be in? Slytherin, that's an easy question. Slytherin. Are you strongly suspect someone close to you is keeping secrets from you? What do you do? Let's, let's go, let's look, through, let's look through their phone. Could be something bad. Pick a Marvel character. I'm not putting labels because I assume you'll recognize who they are. <laughs> do I know who they are? Okay, that's Logan. That's Dr. Manhattan. Um... Uh, that's Loki, Hellboy, Green Goblin, uh, Superman, Spider-Man, and Captain America. Loki. I'm like mischievous, right? I'm mischievous. I would do that. You're at a party and people are drinking. You're not of age and neither are most of the people at the party. But someone offers you a beer. What do you do? You are the one offering the beer. Wow. No. No, 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 no. 
Don't drink, but take the opportunity to videotape drunk people at the party doing dumb things. This would be good ammunition. <laughs> no, I would. I'm the driver. No. Pick a DC Comics character. All right. Do I know the all these people? Let's see. I might not. The Joker. Batman. I don't know. Who is that? This is the Flash. Who's this guy? Uh, guy with his phone out. We got Superman. We've got Green Lex Luthor, and we've got Lex Luthor, and then Slade. I'm gonna go with guy on his phone. That's probably what I would be doing. It's all fun and games until you hurt my friends. It's always fun and games. You break the law. People get hurt, then it's just a game. Wait, it's all fun and games until people get hurt, then it's just a game. Someone gets hurt, then it's just fun. You make me mad, you disobey me, you do the wrong thing. It's all fun and games until... This is the same, this is the same answer, I think. It's all fun and games until you make me mad. Have you ever participated in a prank war? Uh, as long as no one gets hurt, sure. What's your motto? Do what's right, especially if it goes against the rules. Screw the rules. The difference between bombs and confetti is that bombs are more fun to throw around. Cheat the system. Look out for yourself. Everyone else is optional. Uphold the law. Do what you think is right. Do what's right. Do what you think is right. Almost done. Pick a job. Doctor, mercenary, judge, advisor, private, and serial killer. That's not a job. That is a lifestyle. That is a way that you act. That's not a career. Let's go with the consultant. Pick a legend. <laughs> Three-ish musketeers. What? Coronas. Here we go. Here we go. Chaotic neutral. I don't try. No, this is this is this was we were listening to like a, somebody's iPod. This is not how you do an alignment test. Chaotic stupid. New test. Play the Winnie the Pooh baseball game. I don't know where is it. Where's Winnie the Pooh baseball? Winnie the Pooh baseball. Huh? Oh! Play the Winnie the Pooh baseball game. This is this is this is gonna scream in my face. I swear to God. This is gonna be a screamer. Is it Winnie the Pooh home run derby? The more flash games I play, though, I'm gonna risk losing my license. No, it's called it's called my computer shit the bed, and I can't do anything on it. So we have to play all these dumb fucking shitty flash games and do quizzes. Because I blue screened ten times in two hours. Alright, let's try it. How to play. Uh, move poo with the mouse. Keep your eye on the ball. Take aim. Click to swing. I pressed the back button. This is not- I don't, I don't like this ad. What is this ad? That was fucking weird. That was a weird start. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Try to hit the ball in the middle of the bat to make it fly. Yeah, move through the levels. Hit a bunch of home runs. Let's go. Alright. This is fun. You will know fear. Why, why will I know fear? I don't understand. This is just a this is just a baseball game. I'm playing the baby easy mode? What do you do? This is just on lol.disney.com. It gets hard. I'm gonna like lose before I can even start. Just keep playing, okay. This is just a clickbait ad game on an iPad. That, that's what it seems like. Am I actually getting baited right now, or is this some other thing that happens in this game? Are you guys gonna make me play this game all night? What could possibly be in this game? It's on a it's on a licensed Disney website. Level five is actually impossible. We'll see. Stage four. I hit twelve. I have twenty five tries. 
Oh, it gets a little weird. That's it gets a little weird. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it just fucking froze the game. I mean, you can throw all kinds of shit at me if you want. I'll still take care of it. Yeah, what are we doing here? What are we watching here? I, have, I had that question before as well. Two more shitty quizzes. Well, now I'm invested. Okay, I'm seriously not even kidding. An ad just loaded, and I felt it. I could feel it in my hand. So far, I, I feel like the, I feel like the, here comes here comes the hardness, right? All right, here we go. We got got to hit 15. Okay. Bring it on. It's not that bad. That's not that bad. I'm gonna beat Pooh Home Run Challenge on stream. Is this the guy that beat Pooh's Home Run Challenge in one sitting, first try blind on Disney.lol.com? LOL.disney.com. All right, stop fucking around. You have to hit like five more. All right, I gotta. I, I'm gonna lose. I'm choking right now. Can't choke this out. Choking. He's choking. Choking! I gotta get- I can only miss one more. Choking! Choking! Get the fuck out of here with your hard game! Level 6. Well, that's different. You gotta get 19. Hmm. 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 <laughs> wow, that really is like not fucking possible. <laughs> You've not even begun to suffer is what somebody just said. Damn. All right. We look we look terrible. This is going to see how fast my reactions are. You're going to get a fucking bird's eye view of the whole thing. Two oh seven. Two ten. That's not bad, is it? Two four that was faster than the last one. How is that slower? Two sixteen. Okay. My you right, you scored you're currently in the top eighty nine percentile for this test. That means I d I'm, I'm better than eighty. That means I'm better than eighty nine percent. I can get a better one. Under two hundred. Yeah. Almost under 200. Look, I'm I'm as good as if you connected to like a, a server in Asia, right? That's pretty fast. I'm as fast as a packet of data going from my computer to Asia and back. That's fucking so fast. 
Uh, somebody's like, somebody's having like a party downstairs. Do you hear that? No, that one doesn't count. That one doesn't get, that was, I gotta refresh. There's like a party going on downstairs. What, what am I missing right now? There's a fucking, there is a rave going on downstairs. I'm almost curious to go check and see what it is. I can get under 200, I know I can. That was, the first one was, I was literally the host of the server. Got it. 186 milliseconds. Average rate, let's say, what's that? Currently in the top 92 percentile for the test. Uh, no, the average person can remember seven numbers at once. What's the longest number you can memorize? Two. What was the number? The number was two. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. Honda. 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 Four oh six. Ten forty-eight. You're gonna have to start remembering. I'm gonna have to start thinking about uh, phone numbers. Fuck off. Not you. No, no. I was pointing. I was pointing at the car. Uh, 72, 228. 72-228. 99-502. 99-502. 99-502. 99-506. 96-8-5736. 96-8-5736. 96-8-5736. 8 7 3 Eight eight three four seven. Verbal memory test. Uh, you'll be shown words one at a time. If you've seen a word during the test, click safe for work. If it's a new word, click not safe for work. Amylus. No, that's new. Mango. These are all new. Garments. Mango. Seen it. Heartland. New. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. That's new. That's new. Convetin, that's new. Seen it. New. Seen it. New. Seen it. New. 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 Seen it. New. New. Seen it. New. Seen it. New. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. New. It's new. New. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. New. New. Seen it. New. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. New. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. New. Seen that. Seen that one too. Stop. That's new. Seen that one. Top 79%. Visual memory. Getting bigger. I'm gonna do all right on this one.
Sorry, six time um, that's top top sixty six percent. I wanna play Family Feud right now. Where can I get one? Where can I actually get a Family Feud? I'm like into that right now. Oh boy, there are ads all over this. Oh, thank God you can't hear this. One, two, three, four. There are four ads. There's two playing video ads here and here. There's a banner here. This is unbelievable. Here's the thing. I had ad block on and I had to turn it off to load the page. Oh my fucking God. All right, here we go. Let's hope this is worth it. Buy the full version. You can fuck right off. Uh, it's like the ad for like chicken nuggets and stuff on the bottom. All right, Family Feud. I feel like doing this right now. Let's do it. Name something you'd find in a school lost and found box. Uh, keys. Survey says. Nobody know kids have keys. Yes, they do. Uh, a Game Boy. Survey says. Not there. What? Um, a, a, a coat. An article. Survey a sweater. Says. Coat. Jacket. How about... Uh, n why would you lose your socks? Alright, I'm gonna take off my shoes and my socks, and then I'm gonna lose and I'm gonna put my shoes back on. Why would that happen? Lunchbox. Survey says... Glasses? Everybody loses their damn glasses. Survey says... Yep. Jacket, glasses, lunchbox. Backpack. Survey says. Not there. Strike three. Too bad. Fine. Let's take a look at what. So what is it? Jacket. And we see two, please. Hat. Let's see number three. Gloves. Let's see number six. A book. Seven. Let's see it. Shoes. How does somebody how lose their is. shoes? You don't. It's how do you lose your stuff. shoes? Name people. people Name something people need good posture to do. Office work. Fucking. Survey says. Not there. Let's see number one. And we see two. Please. Untrue. How do you need dancing? You need posture for dancing. Typing. Let's see number four. Walk confidently. You need to be able to walk, do like the it. Chad walk, and play the piano. I mean, you do, but you need. That Cox. Sacrifices you make. No, what? What is this? The oh. late nights, the yeah. weekends, and early mornings. What's it for? A big deal to other companies. Right. But they are to us. What company is it? That's why our fast internet and scalable voice solutions are backed by 24-7 personal support from experts 24-7 right personal hometown. support. Right in my hometown. Business isn't small to us. Right. Switch to Cox Business today. Don't do that. Name a cartoon movie that features animals as the main characters. Uh, what is the name? Zootopia. Survey says. Ah, uh, oh God. Bum. So <laughs> white and the seven animals. That's those are dwarves. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Says. Well, he wasn't really technically an animal. He was a person that was a, an animal hybrid. Uh, 101 Dalmatians. Survey says. The Lion King. Survey says. Number one. Um, Finding Nemo. Fish aren't animals, though. Survey says. Fish aren't animals. Babe the pig. Madagascar. And Bambi. Let's see how you did. Let's see what Cox can do for you. Name something on which you might need your boss's signature. Eviction notice. No. Um. Pink slip. Survey says. 
Your report card. No, that's your parents. Um, what do you need a boss's signature for? Like to get permission to go on a field trip? A check. Survey says. You wait. Your boss has to sign the paycheck. But this is what about direct deposit? Survey says. Vacation. Like, I have to go on vacation, so and I have to have the boss sign the vacation slip. Survey says. Vacation. There it is. Vacation request. Vacation time. Sick. Sick leave? That's not the sick you go when you're sick. Survey says. Name a job in which you need to wash your hands often. Uh, janitor. No, uh, cook. Name an animal you would find in the ocean but not in a pond. Turtle. No. Um, shark. No. Shark. Name a good excuse to eat soup. Sick. You're sick. Why might someone's phone number be unlisted? Uh, criminal. Uh, criminal. Because they like, call I don't know. Name a place where a child makes friends. Playground. Cook, yes, chef. <laughs> Thank you. We ask you. Animal you'd find in the ocean, but not a pond. Shark. There's definitely there's no sharks in ponds. Thank you. You eat soup you when you're sick because it, it it's easy to go down, easy to digest. You said. Somebody that has an unlisted phone number could be a criminal or could be somebody trying to scam you. Playground of school. Give me fifty five seconds on the clock. More? Maybe job which you need to wash it. I Um <laughs> Wash it uh, uh Doctor. You find it in the ocean but not in a pond. Turtle? No. Uh, find an ocean but not a pond. A sunfish. No. A... A whale. Maybe a good excuse to eat soup. Lazy. Because <laughs> it's fairly easy. Snape, why, why would somebody's phone be unlisted? Privacy! Where a child makes friends. School. Three hundred and twenty-six dollars plus two hundred and five dollars plus twenty thousand dollars equals two thousand twenty thousand five hundred thirty-one dollars. What were the top ones? Medical professional, right? Shark, I got that top answer. Good excuse to eat soup. Sick. Why would your number be unlisted? Because privacy got that one number one. And it's definitely gonna be school. School of trial. I got it. I'm, look at me. Look at me go. Yeah, here comes a. Uh... Business. We see the sacrifices you make. The late nights, the weekends, and early mornings may not be a big deal to other companies, but they are to us. That's why our fast internet and scalable voice solutions are backed by 24 7 personal support from experts right in your hometown. Because your business isn't small to us. Switch to Cox Business today. That was a double middle finger. I win! What might a person make when first learning how to knit? It's a sweater. Absolutely. Grandma a blanket. That's a pretty good one, I think. Blanket, sweater, uh, hat. Hat is pretty easy, correct answer, I think. Glo yeah, gloves, gloves, that's a good one. Gloves or the yeah, mittens is better. What is number one? 
Sock, slippers, mittens, blanket, sweater, hat, scarf. One more. Scarf, blanket, sweater, hat, slippers, socks, mittens. Uh, bed. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Grandma knitted me a whole bed? It was really comfortable. A doll. That's not a bad one. Doll, like a little action figure. Let's see how you did. A pot holder. Grandma, I'm gonna burn my fucking hands. That is the most dangerous gift Grandma could ever give you. Name a kind of hat that would be weird to see a magician pull a bunny from. Um, a <laughs> construction hat? Construction. Construction, chef's hat, yeah, hard hat. Chef's hat. Not from a chef's hat. Wizard's hat. A wizard. Wizard's hat. A cowboy hat. Okay, cowboy hat. Hard hat. Like a baseball bat. <laughs> You'd be so, uh, such a shitty magician. A fedora? No, it's not gonna be fedora. Top hat is a magic- that's a magician's hat already. Isn't a top hat what a magician pulls their rabbits out of? No, it is a top hat. A beret. Still doing better than average. No! <laughs> Where do many teenagers have their first kiss? Um, in their car. In a car. Survey says. Yeah. At, at the at the movies, like movie, right? Survey says. Will, will you pick up on that? You will. Okay, at the movies. At like outside, like at like at the park. Survey says. On. <laughs> Where do many teenagers have their first kiss? On their mouth. I mean, you're being very literal about that. I don't think that's what they're looking for. Under the bleachers. That's like a Survey meme, says. right? That's like a teenager meme. I mean, like the school. That's what like that's what I was going Survey for. Says. School dance. Stay One back. guy said something here. Let's see number five. Front door. Let's see how you did. At the front door, you're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. You're gonna you're gonna kiss. You're gonna get a kiss in front of dad. Don't think that's gonna happen. Name something you find out about a word by looking it up in the dictionary. What the hell are you talking about? Name something you find out about a word. That could be anything. Find out about a word? De yeah, de definition. Definition. Survey says. Um, adjectives? Verbs? I don't... Noun? But what do you find out about a word by looking it up in the dictionary? Answer, try again. That's, uh, that, no, it doesn't work. Thesaurus. Survey says. Not there. Uh. Description? Survey says. How to spell it. Survey says. Name something you have uh, a one in a million chance of experiencing. Jackpot! Name a time when you exchange gifts. Christmas! Name a way that someone might cheat in a baking contest. Boxed... Box food. Uh... But how do you always say it? Boxed ingredients. F prepared... Already prepared food. Boxed food. What the fuck? Packaged. Pack... Packaged. When learning to drive, what might your teacher do that indicates she's afraid? <laughs> Scream. Name a person who might call you by a childhood nickname even after you've outgrown it. Uh, neighbor. You, you didn't even give me points. 
Why do I have a time limit? Name something. But you're not gonna. If you get a jackpot, you're not gonna be. What I have to do? What do I have to do? When exchange gifts? Christmas. No. What? Oh shit. Easter. Um, boxed food. Scream. Um. Uh, jump out of car. You said. No, what the fuck? Did you beat fast money and get those twenty thousand bonus points? Let's see. We asked this question. You said. We asked you. You answered. <laughs> What's up? That's one in a million. Christmas. That's our game. Hurry on back. Name something your car would be less safe without. Brakes. Your car would not be safe without a wheel. Survey says. Not there. How would you drive a car without a wheel? It would just go straight and you'd crash into a wall. Seatbelt. Survey says. Survey says. <laughs> Epic boomer bumper stickers. That's a good one. Survey says. Uh, Airbags. Let's see number four. A car alarm. Number five. And locks. Let's see how you did. Well, some of those. Okay, we were being a little too literal. Like safe as in. Crashing a car versus safe as in someone's gonna break into your car. We were thinking too literal. Name a part of the job that flight attendant must get sick of. Um, the safety instruction, right? Just the, the safety instruction. Survey says. No, no, they don't get sick of safety. I'm talking about like the sa the instructional thing where they like talk at the beginning. Get <laughs> sick of flying. You, might, you get sick of flying around, serving food, sick of all the passengers, smiling, walking, traveling. Name a profession that helps people but from which people hate getting helped. That would be the dentist. Nobody likes going to the dentist. The doctor. Survey says. Not there. Nobody, everyone hates going to the doctor. Survey says. Not there. Survey says. Oh, speaking of lawyer. Speaking of lawyer. From the recommendations tab in the Discord, Ace Attorney. All three of them right now are on iPad. Full games, HD releases. Phoenix Wright. Coming up very shortly here. Name something a doctor might ask a patient to do during a checkup. Cough. Survey says. They don't do that though. I've never had somebody tell me to cough. Ever. That's like everyone pretends like that happens. Uh yeah, you know, like pee. Survey says. Uh, not there. Say ah. Say ah. Survey says. What? There. Stick out tongue. Tongue. Stick out. Stick tongue out. Stick out tongue. Survey you says. Know? Open wide. All right, let's go. Fast money. Fast money. But yeah, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, the next stream we do, we'll, we're gonna start a journey. Uh, what do you eat that has a hole in the middle? That would be a donut. Name something that would tell you your blind date is British. Accent. Name a profession where you may receive lots of mail from strangers. Celebrity. But that's an uh, actor. Name a household chore that you do less frequently because it's barely noticeable when it's done. Sweep. 
Name something about a food that would prevent a kid from eating it. Good for you. Let's see how you did. We asked did I have less time? That when did that? You said. Sorry, I'm gonna get it on the next one. Don't worry. Bagels. You... Bagels gonna get me up on the top. Accent. Just listen to the talk. Actor. We ask this question. Actors, props, and 3D words. You said. We ask you. Sweep. You answered. Okay. We ask this question. I might. Yeah, I, I barely. I barely need a second round. So all these are really specific, though. Bagel will get me over the top for sure. That's pretty much a guarantee. I'm not, no, this is, I'm not writing teeth. All right, we got, just pick something, doesn't matter. Name a profession where you may receive lots of mail from strangers. Chore. Food that would prevent healthy. I win, I win. Barely notice the dirty dishes. Yeah, you know, if you don't do dishes for like six months, it's just like, it's in one spot. Doing the dishes that they're in some, this is such a tiny central location that you can just walk right by them. Accent was number one. Celebrity. I wrote celebrity at first and I took it out. Dust. I mean, that was sweep. Smell. Alright, what about some other fun little fucking online video games? So this is Lemonade Stand. Okay, you have zero paper cups, zero lemon, zero, zero, everything zero. I have 20 bucks. It is 80 degrees and it's hazy. You have zero, okay, 25 cups. Let's do 50 cups. Let's get some, let's get 30 lemons. I don't want it too sweet though. No, not too sweet. Eight cups of sugar. And a hundred. You don't want to I don't, I don't want to water it down. Nice lemon flavor without without the the, the sweetness. Two sugars per pitcher. Ice per cup. Three. Twenty-five cents a cup. Not enough sugar. No, that's too sweet. You don't want it to be that sweet. This is me. Anybody buying cups? It's 80 degrees outside. There we go. Did you like it? Oh, you really liked it. <laughs> it's like monsters in this planet here? Yuck. Yeah, go back to Sesame Street, buddy. Go get angry at Grover for the spaghetti he fucked up. Get out of my game. Yuck. Everybody wants their lemonade so sugary and sweet. That's not... Why would you want it like that? More ice. Yuck. More ice. Yuck. This guy keeps going back to my stand. If you don't like it, don't come back. More ice. Yuck. More ice. Everyone... Ice. More ice. More ice. Yuck. More ice. Yuck. Fuck you all. Oh. You managed to sell 21 cups to 105 potential customers. Considering the weather, I'd say this is pitiful. Cut back on the lemons. Add sugar, because that's what people want, and add ice. Go. More ice. Why do you guys want so much ice? Nobody likes that. When you go to, like, a restaurant and they just... They give you... Like four tablespoons of Pepsi and then two bricks of ice. Nobody wants that. More people, people are more sad. More ice, okay. More ice, more ice. Mmm. More ice. That was pitiful. We're gonna do five lemons per pitcher, five sugars per pitcher, and 
eight, no, ten ice cubes. It's 53 degrees outside. Make it cheap, cheap, very cheap. 15 cents. I had to get rid of the inventory. What did I, what did I, run, out of, I ran out of ice? 0% customer satisfaction. It said that's pretty good. Net profit, $5.18. We're in the green. 15 cents, five lemons, six sugar. Five, what is it? It's 81 degrees out. We're gonna go with like seven or eight, eight cubes. No, no, seven cubes. 15 cents a cup. Sold it out, it's gone. Not, here we go. This is where we're gonna make all the money right now. 91 degrees, it's clear and sunny. Buy. A shitload of left 30 lemons. 48 cups of sugar. 500 ice cubes. More cups. More lemons. 30 cents. Made it all back. All you need is one day. Sold out the whole inventory. Six lemons per pitcher. It's eight sugars. Five ice cubes. They're not buying it. They're not buying it. They're not buying it. Try, try, liquidate, quick, liquidate. Buy it. It's good. Final day. It's time to make money. Watch this one. 87 degrees outside. I got 21 lemons. We're going to do... We're going all in. 45 cents. 10 lemons. 10... 12 sugars. 10 ice per cup. Throw 33 cents! 35 cents! 35 cents! 30, I, I was wrong. 30 cents! 30 cents! I had to go all in. <laughs> I was just like at the, on the New York Stock Exchange. Shell it! Shell it! No, sell it for less. Sell it for a little less than him. Less than that, please. Somebody please buy it. All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start Ace Attorney tomorrow. I'm gonna get it on iPad. I'm gonna plug it in, get everything done. I have never played an Ace Attorney game. I don't even know what they are. The only thing I know is that meme where you point your finger and you scream. Objection, right? So I don't know, I don't, I don't even know what that means. Hello? Let's find out who the fuck I really am. Fast and easy, it's gonna take, it's gonna take like 40 minutes. It's not gonna take 12. I'm gonna answer these questions as truthfully as I can. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm, you're gonna get the real me here, okay? Do you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people? Yes, I do. I love talking to people. I love uh, complaining about the internet to people. Pretty much every conversation I, I have nowadays with, um, with other people is about like either like the zit that's on my face or about an internet problem that I'm currently having. So yeah, I, no, I love talking to people, I do. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. All the fucking time. There are streams that I have tried to do that just completely unrealistic. We're never ever going to happen, but I tried anyways. I have like stuff on my mouth. Am I like frothing at the mouth? Am, am I like turning into like, am I turning rabid? Ow. This is what I'm talking about. I can't like comb my hair on these streams now. My hair's turning into like <laughs> uncooked ramen noodles. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. I, mm, I like to have some kind of plan, but not completely out outrageous. I feel like I'm getting these wrong. Because like they're all agree. All right, no, no, no. Okay, that that that's correct. I do. I like to just kind of go and do. I like to plan. Oh, hold on. I plan some stuff, but not everything. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it's taken place. No. No, I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. No, because I, I I look. I just say the things I say. I don't like think about long after the conversations over what I should have said. No, I, I just said it. If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not to try to solve their problem. 
Like, okay, if it's, let's say it's like a, like a little kid, like, drops the ice cream on the ground. Just go, I can go get another ice cream, and there it is. And it, you're, it's not, I just solved your problem in a minute. But that's a bad parent? Wait, what do you mean, bad parent? Hold on, so if, if your, like, kid dropped the ice cream, full ice cream on the ground, you wouldn't go get him another one? What if they were like, but I, okay, what if, what if, like, the worker, like, didn't get it in there well? And it just like fell out, and like oh, the, the, and the worker was like, oh yeah, you're right. I didn't secure that. I didn't secure the ice cream in there good enough. You didn't secure the ice cream because I would buy my son or daughter an ice cream that they dropped on the ground, or try to get another one. That makes me like a crazy person. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I would just try to support and then maybe like how do we maybe fix this right people can rarely upset you someday somebody could like hit me in the face with a door and i'd be like oh, oh. <laughs> you know well people are people are oh, it's blood all over my mouth people are clumsy you know it's okay don't worry about that have a wonderful rest of your day mm -hmm. you need anything like some days it's like that but other days somebody could literally sneeze like 15 tables over and i'm just like Stop. Don't fucking sneeze. No, right in the middle. I'm only 10% of the way through this. It said 12 minutes. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation to keep it going. No. Strongly disagree. I'm always like throwing out fucking shit to talk about. I'm always just like, hey, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? So, yeah, I I'm, I'm always want to start conversations. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Mm -mm. No, unfortunately. Mm -mm. Not that disagree, but I, they come back to normal. They, they gradually come back. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. So like, I don't really worry if I make a good impression. Hmm. I wouldn't say that's a strong agree. This is my first time watching and you suck. Well, that's interesting because you have a four month sub badge. That would be uh, very odd. <laughs> Got him. Do you see that vein? <laughs> is that healthy? That was big. That means I'm healthy, right? That means like there's a ton of blood going up into my brain, right? It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole day no, it would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. Yeah. Maybe not that much, because sometimes you do want some alone time, right? You are more you are more of a detail oriented than a big picture person. No. I, I just I I'm a big picture. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Yeah. I think so. Somewhere in here. Ten minutes, by the way. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. Absolutely not. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. No. I, no, people, you grow. You know what I mean? You grow. You learn, you grow, and you become the person that you are. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Hmm... I don't know, is this imply like the, the dance circle at the wedding? Cause like, okay, there's the, the, I love the dance circle at the wedding, but I don't really like the, when it gets, when it gets too crazy, you know, the dance circle at the wedding is fun. And then you're like, all right, I want to go back over to like the bar and just sit around and like watch. So I don't know, probably like right here. Uh, German lied about the clown car, just gave five community subs. Thank you so much, Jerma lied about the clown car. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. That, that, I slightly disagree. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. No. Nope. I just, I don't care what it is. I'll pick something for fun. Um, I, I here, here's the thing. I actually do this thing. This is fun to do. Uh, the next time you're on Netflix or you're on Hulu, doesn't matter, right? It, uh, a fun, uh, project is to find a movie that you've never seen that you'll never watch. That you're like, I will never fucking watch. Um, I, there's no reason why I'm going to watch uh, The Other Guys too, Right? I'm just, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. 
uh, there's no reason why I would do it. I just, I, there's not a movie I'm going to pick to watch. It's If it's on TV, I'm not going to watch it. But what you do is you do the 20 skip. And how that works is you start the movie and you watch for about 60 to 120 seconds. And then you skip 20 minutes. Watch for about 60 seconds. Skip 20 minutes. Watch for 60 to 120 seconds. Skip 20 minutes. And you'll get the essentially the, tw the 20 skip of the whole movie. And you'll be able to like just take it in. You'll be able to see at least seven to eight minutes of a movie. And you're not going to watch this fucking movie anyway. So just have fun and just skip through it and just see what they do. Just look at like the weird shit they do on camera. You're fucked up. No, but I'm not going to watch that movie. Like I'm not going to watch that movie. Okay? So uh, Daddy's Home 2 is the last one I did this with. And I would do it again because there's no way I'm going to give two hours to Daddy's Home 2. I watched like nine minutes of this movie. And I've, I feel like I've already seen it. There's a dad's home one. Yeah. So no, I just pick shit and just will watch it for fun. Sometimes it doesn't matter what it is. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Yeah. Strongly agree. But I, I, I can stay real fucking calm. Now don't say that the internet problems are cracking under pressure. Because the internet... Pro okay, listen. The internet problems... That's not pressure. That is... That is like... That's not even pressure. That is just extreme stress. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, oh, well, something's happening today that I gotta be calm about. This is literally somebody just like throwing darts into your chest for like a year. Eventually you're gonna be like, can you stop throwing fucking darts at me? Like, you're gonna have like seven, okay, 700 darts go into my chest. This is like getting 700 darts thrown at you over the course of a year. I, I walk out the door, like this is a you live a completely normal life, and I open the door sometimes, and there's just the, there's the dark guy. And he's just lined up the shot, and you're like, okay. Go ahead. And he's just like, hold on, don't move. <laughs> and it bounces, it doesn't go, it's not gonna, he didn't throw it hard enough for it to go, and it just hits you in the chest and falls down. And you have like a mark. That happens, that, by the way, this happens like two or three times a week. After a year, you're gonna, like, kick out the dark guy. You're gonna be like, don't fucking get- don't come in my house ever again. He's gonna look at you like, what? Don't- 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 leave. Don't ever come back. Get the fuck out of my house. And he'll just be like, with his bag, like his bag of fucking darts on his back. Like, okay. Alright, bye. You'll never see me again. And you're like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, dark asshole. Okay, fine, bye! You're never gonna see me again! And he, the door closes and he's gone. By the way, two months later, um, a dart hits your, like, window. And you look out, you're like, that motherfucker! And he's just like... <laughs> 12 minute test, by the way. Yeah, but we have to, like, interact and talk about this. Like, honest to God, this hair looks pretty good for a fucking 34-year-old man. Give me some slack. Seriously. You know how many fucking 35-year-old men I know that, that their hairline goes back to here? I think I, I deserve a little bit of slack. It'll, okay, I'm not- and, and when I'm 40, this will probably be all the way back. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be 40 though, whatever. You can't look like fucking 25 forever. I ain't gonna get any work done. I mean, you know, maybe I'll get like, you know, well, that's not true. Maybe I might get like a chin implant and then like a eyebrow bone implant because I want to look like a banana. When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into the conversation. Now, I can do that very easily. I just go like, hey, I, I scroll on like this and everybody like notices that you did that. And they're like, who's this guy? Who's this guy funny? And then I go, yeah, kind of. And I like get in there and I just start talking about whatever. You got to get in there like this. If you, and here's a, a good icebreaker. Like, oh, like we're at a party. It's just like. Rolling it. Hey! Everyone's just like, oh, this guy, I think this guy might be like a funny guy. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Um, does this count as like crazy nightmare shit? I had a dream a couple nights ago that there was this big, gigantic, thick pane wall of glass. And there were like three or four people around me. And I don't know what they were doing. They were, they were like just hanging out, right? And... They were taking turns, trying to run and jump and break the glass with their bodies. This was, this was like as big as a whole wall. Like, in a, like a mural of like just glass. 
I'm just like, what the? Why are you guys? What are you guys doing? They're just like, yeah, come on, man. And like running, like making a dent, bang, and like the little spider web would break out. And then finally, after like probably six or seven more attempts of this, one of them actually got through. It was like he broke through and he fell back and landed and like he got like cuts all over him. And he was like bleeding. He was like ah, like screaming and like blood was coming out of his back and shit. And I was like, why? Why did you do that? Does that count? Are these nightmares? Because sometimes they they're like that. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. Well, now they're dialing up the questions into fucked up territory. No, it's not. Do it on, do, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Don't use people. I'm talking more of like like a strict like, in in the in a. Don't use people. Don't, like, just step on somebody to get to the top. No, get to the top on your own. Get to the top because you, you belong at the top. Right? You know, you know what I'm saying? Get to the top because, like, you belong at the top. You know what I mean. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. I don't need to even talk about that one. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. No. I typically would take, would take a mistake and turn it into something else that works. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Uh, that's, that's, pretty, that's kind of true. I think that's true for everybody, though. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. Nah. That's, like, fun to do. That's fun to do sometimes. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. No, I've, I've done it in front of you. I've, I've literally cried on this stream, like, twice. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than quiet and intimate ones. Yeah. Oh, Las Vegas, come on. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Oh, yeah. You know, is a robot going to take over? We've, we've had these conversations on the stream. What's going to happen in 500 years? Are they going to write books about this? Yeah, all the time. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Yeah, sometimes. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. Probably. Probably, because I would, I, would I would get lost. Comedy? Oh, wait, I thought they were talking about, like... Oh, yeah, you're right, okay. But I, that, is that, is that is comedy that? That's not the, there's no study of comedy. Oh, what are you, what are you doing in college? Oh, I'm a comedyologist. That, no, you just kind of, you don't like study, dedicating your life to the study of something. I'm, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with disagree because I guess like comedy is like a thing, I guess, right? It's very clearly not meant as comedy. Yeah, it is. It's like, it's like what they're talking about here is they're talking about like religion. And that's mainly, I'm assuming, what they mean by this. What about physics? Particle physics? Yeah, but the particles exist. Okay. You usually prefer to get your... I thought that said massage. You usually prefer to get a massage rather than... I'm like, wait, what? You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than to forgive. I've never, like, had to get... I've never, like, had, like, revenge, though, before. <laughs> revenge. When have I ever had to get, like, revenge? Like, maybe in, like, a video game world. No, I don't know. You make decisions on a whim all the time. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. It really depends, but for the most part, no. <clears throat> you often put social, special effort into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. No, because I, every time I watch a movie that confuses me, I just find the subreddit that the movie is based on and read... Da 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 ending explained. Da da da, what did da 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 mean when da 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 explained? And I just look at... Somebody on Reddit has like two paragraphs that explains literally everything you ever want. You go, oh... He trusts Reddit. No, I'm just saying, like, it, it's somebody else, like, they already, somebody else already has, this is the thing about the internet, and pretty much, this is how it works. Somebody on the internet 
figured it out already. If this is something that you think that like, hey, wait, hold on, is that, what is that, what's, what happened in that movie? I think, no, no, somebody already figured it out. There are people that figured out the end of like every TV show and every like movie and every book, like years before they were even done. So, they already, they, so somebody else has already figured it out. That's why I just don't even use the internet. If you're ever going to watch a movie, just don't even go on the internet. You always know exactly what you want. No, I don't. You rarely think back on the choices you made. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. Rarely look back. No, I don't that often. Maybe like once in a while. No. No, I don't. I usually just kind of stick with whatever happens. Yeah, I do. When in a public place, you usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. No. I usually like the hustle and bustle. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. No. I'm always trying to think of, like, what cool thing could I try or do in the future. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. It really depends on what they what what the thing is though. When you know someone thinks highly of you, I mean like all of you, everyone here, you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you. We actually talked about this like 2 days ago. I don't give a shit about what people think about me. I give a shit about what everybody thinks about me. I'm flippy floppy. No, but that's different though. That's different because if, 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 I, if I, when you know someone thinks highly of you, this is not flippy floppy because when this is a worded differently, when you know that somebody thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it'll be maybe if they, yeah, no, that absolutely. Cause you want, you want to make sure that they still think you're like cool. They still like you, that they still are having like a good time. Yeah. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking a conversation. No. I don't. Here's the thing about walking up to somebody and like starting a conversation. Everybody has this thing in their head of the conversation that they're going to have. And it's usually the first like three sentences. Everybody blocks out the first like two or three sentences. And then after you have your pre-planned like two sentences that you're going to say. Uh oh. There's nothing else here. Um... So let, like, for instance, right? Like, oh, hey, you notice that, uh, oh, somebody's, somebody likes uh, garbanzo beans at the grocery store. I love garbanzo beans. Hey, I love garbanzo beans. Those are really delicious. Here's a, I got an interesting recipe for like hummus that you could try. Okay, cool. Hey, oh, uh, uh, those, that, that's the best brand. I usually buy that brand. It's a good one. Yeah, big, I'm a big fan of garbanzo beans too. I got a, a, a recipe for hummus that my, got my grandmother passed down to me. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. You often drift away to daydreaming about very oh yeah. You look after yourself first and others come in second. There's a reason, yeah. Secure your own oxygen mask first before helping others. No, you can, for, for, all right. For me, listen, listen. For me to be able to look after somebody else, I need to be capable of doing that. I have to be kind of in the right mindset. I've got to be in a good spot, I gotta be okay with me before I can be okay telling somebody else what to do. You know what I mean? Take care of yourself first. Make sure that you are good. Because how, how, how can you expect to like take care of somebody else if you're not kind of locked in on yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like think about that. Put your own oxygen mask on first. Got that on Reddit. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. Yeah. Self-absorbed streamer steals oxygen masks and claims they belong to him. Have you ever been on a fucking airplane? Have you never been on an airplane before? That person never been on an airplane. Confirmed. self streamer steals bits from homeless viewer. Well, no, no, thank you for the $50, but the, the homeless viewer walked up to me and like gave me fifty dollars, and I and then ran away, and I was like, "What the hell happened?" The home, the, I, I didn't say, "Hey, come over here 
here, give me that money. No, no, no. I was just walking down. I was just walking down fucking Twitch Street, and like somebody like came up and was just like, Jerba, hey Jerba, and I'm like, huh? Hello? Yeah. What? What's going on? Hey, uh, I had to catch up to you. You, I noticed that you like garbanzo beans. Yeah, I, I like garbanzo beans too. Hey, here's fifty dollars. I got a recipe my grandmother gave me, like, like ten years ago, and it's, you can make good hummus. I love the stream. Somebody escaped. So another person just like sprinted up. Jerba! Hey, she has seventy-five dollars. Whoa, Jesus! Hey, here's seventy-five. See you later. This white screen is killing my eyes. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of that person. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. That that's true. Let me like let me help this person out here. I agree. You're right. Hold on. See, I was sitting in the chair, and I was I'm looking at the screen right now, and I'm I'm good. I'm locked in. I'm taken care of, and I can see that it's not bothering me. So and therefore, what do you, let's go. What do you need? I can take care of you now. Jaredin gave a hundred dollars. So they they sprinted up to me. They gave me a hundred bucks. Take it. I'm like, okay, fine. And then they said, thief, give it back. Is what they said. Here's a hundred dollars. That guy stole a hundred dollars from me. Get him. You just you planted that on me. What am I gonna do? At the, I'm gonna let it go. At that point, I would just be like, I I don't. I have my fingerprints are on it. Oh, I'm gonna wear gloves everywhere I go now. Literally, I'm gonna have like fucking like leather gloves. So if anyone ever does that, I can just be like, oh, it doesn't matter. I didn't touch it. I'm never gonna get through this personality test. It's been like an hour. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence and the meaning of life. No, oh, that's too much to think about. Once you start thinking about that shit, you start to... You go down, like, the path, and you're just like, wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Why can I see? You ever think about that shit? Why can I see? I, you, I have, like, my own VR 3D goggles on. Like, I can see. Why can you smell? Why do things smell? Why does anything have a scent? There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of different smells. Why do they smell like that? Why do things taste differently? Shit's fucked up. You have got detailed... You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future. No. <laughs> you know what my career development plan is? Tomorrow. And today. You rarely dwell on your regrets. No, like I told you before, you gotta you grow. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. No. I like going out with people. <clears throat> you see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. No, I fucking I It's like that, you know what I mean? Like my if, if my if your brains are all in here, my brain's in here, but like it, it occupies like this. That's not saying I'm smart. That's saying uh, that the, what, whatever like like low IQ idiocy that's in here is not like densely packed into the brain. It's like up like as an aura around like all over here. I got a pretty decent IQ though. You've already proved that. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. That's hard to do. What do you mean I'm a realist? Okay, a realist would have probably a realist probably would have gotten, like, a job eight years ago. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy. Yes. Than to organize consistent efforts. Bursts of random energy. That's why sometimes I don't stream. I don't have a schedule, right? So, like, sometimes I... I it's like, oh, today I'm, today I'm ready. Right? Let's go. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Mmm. to air sometimes. Doki Doki Literature Club, I said on stream 10 times, I'm never going to play that game. That's not a change of heart. That is a real, realist, non-visionary statement. I am not ever going to play this game. Uh, that's not a go flippy floppy. That's that's uh, not a commitment. The commitment was to not do it. So I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, I think so.
you rarely feel insecure. Oh, this is it! This is it! This is it! What am I? Your personality type is campaigner. E-N-F-P-A. Wait, let's, let's go over this. Mind. This trait determines how we interact with our environment. 72% extroverted. It's 28% introverted, okay. Energy. This trait shows where we direct our mental energy. 69% intuitive and 31% observant. I mean, I'm pretty intuitive. All right. All right, that means, I'm, that means I'm smart. This is the psycho trait, by the way. What? This is the psycho trait? This trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision-making. Prospecting. 72% prospecting. Okay. Identity. This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in the abilities and our abilities and our decisions. Assertive. Versus turbulent. I'm very assertive. I'm a very assertive, intuitive, prospective feeling person. Start reading. Hey! All right. Introduction. I don't want to read all this. Don't lose that little spark of madness. Wait, what do you mean madness? That's, that's Iron Man over here. So I'm like 20% Iron Man, 20% Robin Williams. 20% Quentin, Quentin Tarantino, and 20%, no, 25%. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. Kelly Clarkson. Will Smith. So this is, everybody combined makes me. All these people make me. Meg Ryan. Michael Scott. I get to be Spider-Man. I get to be Spider-Man and Iron Man. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Just wait for the last one. Wait for the last one. There's one more on this list. It's Willy fucking Wonka. <laughs> I'm, I'm a combination of... Okay, let me tell you something. I got both genies on that list. Just saying. I got Robin Williams and Will Smith. Uh, Iron Man, Spider-Man, the genie, and Willy Wonka. And like, Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. No, I'm not the one, I'm not, okay, you guys, I know some of you, some of you guys are being a little bit of a dick. I'm the guy behind Willy Wonka, that's real funny. Doesn't say guy behind Willy Wonka. It says Willy Wonka, not person standing behind Willy Wonka. I'm going to make a lot of people upset right now. I've never seen The Office. I swear to God, I've only seen like maybe two episodes ever. I don't even know what, I just know that it's like funny. I've seen it. I know everyone's mad. Uh, the ink blot test, also called the Rorschach test, is a method of psychological evaluation. Psychologists use this test in an attempt to examine the personality characteristics and emotional functioning of their patients. This test is often employed in diagnosing underlying thought disorders and differentiating uh, psychotic from non-psychotic thinking in cases where the patient is reluctant to openly admit to psychotic thinking. What? Um, alright. I thought this was just like, what do you think this image is? Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna look at the answers yet. I see... There's two animals going like they're it's a, they're holding hands it's like a, at the circus or something and they're going like this like they're like holding hands together and they're doing they're, it's like a big presentation you know what i mean like this is the animal like the bear or something and it's like flying his arms out or like they're presenting both yeah that's what i see all right so what i see a face in the cards i don't see if no I see a face in the card. I see a scary face. Things look like they're whirling around in the card. Looks like we're looking down on people or something in the card. Or something. <laughs> it looks like we're looking down on people or something. 
I see a mask, I see a flower, I see sexual imagery. Um... Or I can type in my own thing. I don't think I want to type in my own answer. Things look like they're whirling around, like it's like they're, like I said, alright, they're whirling, uh, there's two bears. Continue. Alright, 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 all right, just, just, just like, just let's look, hold on. I'm not looking at the answers. That's, there, that, that can, that's two people doing the, the mime thing. You know, like when they go face to face and they both are like, I'm moving and you're moving at the same time. Like the mirror. They both have hands like this. Going. Right? Right here. Look. Okay. That's what I see. It looks like a bunny rabbit. It looks like an elongated horse head. It looks like an x-ray. It looks like spilled ink. It looks like two distorted Eskimos playing patty cake. It looks like a giant open mouth. Well, I mean, that's the closest one, right? Uh, why, why is it an Eskimo? That makes no... What the fuck are you talking about? It looks like a tunnel into another dimension, or maybe New Jersey... Is this a joke website? Like, is this like a... Is this... This is not real. Or maybe, or maybe New Jersey. Okay, I, I mean, look, it looks like, the, like I said, the two, the mirror. Alright, this looks like... Like, I see... It's like a... It's a, fa okay, face, a face here. And, like, these are the legs, and it's like back. It's like a monster leaning forward. Those are the front legs, and the back legs could be back here hidden. It looks like the coast of Italy after an... A, it looks like a pair of one-legged cannibals fighting over a victim. I love pudding, is an answer. That's the closest thing. This is like a, a butterfly, a moth, I would say. It's a moth to me. Moth. You know when like you go into the science land or side like an exhibit and there's like the moth up on the wall thing, that that stuff? Looks like the universe is exploding coming at me. No, no, you idiot, it's a butterfly, it's been crushed by a boot heel. Ah, that's definitely an ink blot. Finish it? What what's there to finish? It's not even gonna be real. That's like a skull or like a butterfly or a moth again. That's Satan eyes. Oh, I see a fluffy bunny rabbit. I see a big naughty shape. What? Okay. Looks like a guy that was hit by a train. It doesn't look like anything. Yeah, can we have some lunch? To me, it looks like a, a mask. It looks like he just threw ink on the paper and folded it. I'd say it looks like a mask, but I'm not. Uh, I don't really need to write that. What did I get? Sickness. Seventy percent sickness. You're you have difficulty concentrating on keeping on task, probably because you're an idiot. With this, I'm not. I, I, I'm not going to read it. I'm not even going to read it. Run to. I've never played this. See if you can collect the bonuses. All right. All right. We don't. I don't gotta get the bonuses. Who gives a shit? Oh! I'm good. This is actually kind of. This is pretty fun. Do run three, or I'm gonna pee my pants. Well, go for it, man. Up, 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 up. Fuck the bonuses. How many levels are there in, in run two? There's 500 levels. Well, I won't be doing this for that long. Damn it! Fuck. Mm, come on. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I have to wait. Wait! Holy shit. What is going on? 
All right, I can, hold on, I can drop down. Drop down, get this. Jump, over jump, over jump. Damn it. Damn. Oh, shit. It's okay. Oh my God, okay, I'm good. Oh man. My fingers are getting really greasy. All right, well, I'm gonna get to level 20. Slow down. Get your greasy hands. Oh. I'm, I'm look at me. I'm starting to sweat. I really am. This, my zit's gonna be like five times bigger at the end of this. It's gonna literally take on a mind of its own. This pimple is gonna start talking by the end of this stream. Oh, I had it too. All right, I just tasted salt. Is this sweat like dripping down my face? Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm good. Alright. Level 20. I'm ready. Just jump. Nice and easy. I got the bonus. That was easy. Oh, man. I gotta get that. Come on, 21. That's the blackjack number. I can do it. Got it. Alright, 22. This is the last one. This is actually the last one. Damn, how do I do that? I gotta jump underneath it? Got it. Okay, 20, uh, 23 is a scary number. It's like the Satan number. I can't, I, I can't, I, I get 24. I can't end on the scary one. Alright, 24. I can't end on that one. Ah! 25. That's like a good even one. Alright, alright. Okay, I'm good. Go. We're good. We're good. I did it! I won! I, okay, I won! What's the next one? Play Run 3. Uh, run 3 is not as popular as Run 2. Block Soars. The aim of the game is to get the block to fall into the square hole at the end of each stage. There are 33 stages. Bridges and switches are located in level of the blocks. But I think this, this might be a little too much for me. This might this might be it might be not too much for like an eighth grader, but it's too much for me. He was joking, funny man, pretending to be stupid. He is enlightened. He's a... <laughs> Pretty good! Oh, shit. He was just pretending to be funny man. He was pretending to be funny guy. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. What do I think about this game? I think it's pretty sweet. I think it belongs in the top two video games on this site. Fuck, I did it and I went too far. Great! I forgot. I forgot. I'm streaming. You're right. I, I I'm streaming. Um, right. I'm not just playing cool math games alone. Um. <laughs> I'm stumped. I'm stumped on this one. I think, guys. They stumped me. Yeah, they stumped me. Can you play something else? This game sucks. It, this game doesn't suck. I think it's pretty cool. What's next? Alright, we're going back. Alright, Papa's Bakeria. 
Alright, Papa's Bakery, day one. Welcome to pa Papa's Bakery. I did a very, very made a video on one of these. I f completely forgot about the video that I made. So, sir, again, I have to apologize. We do not have any burgers, but I gave you a bologna sandwich. Hopefully you like... You didn't like it. No tip! No fucking tip! You should add filling exactly how it shows on the ticket. All the way up. That's just all pecans. This is gross. That's not pecan pie. Those are just pecans out of a bag. Uh, Akari wants a vented crust. Okay, vented crust. Drag the pie into the oven. Oh, you want top the pie needs caramel drizzle. The icon below shows they want this added all over the whole pie. Try to cover the whole pie with this drizzle. Uh, did I do it? I would like a cherry pie with apple stuff, Captain Crunch, and caramel sauce. Uh, Big Polly wants two fillings, and the fillings you know, he wants the all right. You want cherry to up to here, and then you want apple up to here. What a sick fuck! Ninety-nine points. Use the game tickets you earned to play the Houdini's Daily Mini Game Show. Okay, yeah, let's go. Can you stack it high? This is making me hungry. I want one of these right now. This is a four-year-old's drawing. All right, I think that's good. Closers are very picky about their food. They will be tougher when grading their orders. This guy's a closer. Stop saying pecan. I'm oh, sorry. Pecan. Shit! <laughs> Whatever. Just go. Take it. D minus. And thanks for watching the stream, everybody. That was a fun one tonight. 